Tournament Poker Players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Card House Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event, the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty, and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. Welcome to TCH Live Austin. I'm Kyle Wamo Frizzy, joined by Uncle T, America's favorite uncle. Uncle T, tell us what we have in store tonight. Well, we've got an exciting 2-5 game going on tonight at TCH Austin. Looking forward to this is a good group. A very good group. It was exciting to see the lineup as we came into the booth. A lot of the uh, returning players, some pros, yep. some new folks that we'll learn about as we go along. Yep. Yeah, uh, Carlos in C3, not very familiar with him, went out and introduced himself. Nice young man, haven't seen him before. But uh, y'all will recognize Prestige. Obviously Bones, who's a city-wide sensation. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Very well One of the very best good. players in Austin. Yes, he is. So we'll start Tillman off with the bomb pot here. Kevin Y. Who else do we have? Just James. Yeah, we got a good lineup tonight. I few, but Tillman, who's been on the stream yeah. quite a bit. Not as much recently, so good to have him back. Wait, wait, he is prime. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see Bertram in the yeah. four seat. Bertram's in the four seat. Four check, five check, six check, seven check, eight bet. He, he really wants to get all these hands loaded <laughs> here. He cares, like, more about me being Well, I see top two for Bones and Kevin Y to start off with on the bottom board. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven, a couple of queens Blink, out there. I, I told him to take action. No straights, and it's a rainbow board on both, so not too much to talk about yet. Do have a set of sevens for Kevin Y. And Tillman's open-ended to the on the on the dummy end of the top board. Yep, set of sevens. Kevin's got a lot of this board, more than anyone, especially with a rainbow board. I don't think we mentioned it yet, but Prestige in the seat seven, he's always an action player, so yep. this is especially going to be on the very uh, fun to watch as we go along here. And he does have two pair on the top. Three players. Got a gut shot on the bottom to the Broadway. Really, the only straight draws that are out there are not super strong. Down to three players. Ace check is still good on the bottom. Set of sevens is still good on the top. Both pretty vulnerable hands in a bomb pot, but yep. Would much rather have a straight or some hearts to back up. With it going check set. check, I think Kevin takes a little bit of initiative here. It's great to be on the button. He's gonna make it hard on him. Prestige does have equity on both boards, although, as mentioned, not exactly what you're looking for in a bomb pot. Would much rather have a more nutted hand. Yeah, yeah, but he, one thing you know about Prestige, if you play with him, he is not afraid to he put is money not in afraid. the pot. <laughs> yes. Bones here with the decision with top two on the bottom, as well as two pair on the top. Yeah, Kevin really, really would lock it down with a pair on the top, but he's got, he doesn't know it. Of course, he's losing to eight, nine, four, three. Jones with two pair, two pairs, thinking about this one hard. Yeah, it'll be interesting. He's he's a very good player, so um, it, you know you can learn something every time you watch Bones play. So it'll be interesting to see how he comes to a decision here. As just James enjoys some Austin cuisine. <laughs> yeah, I saw him coming in when he was uh, he was running back from uh, wherever he got his food. Never want to play poker on an empty stomach, says yeah. just James. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if I approve of his, uh, his culinary choice, though. It looks like <laughs> a lot of rabbit food to me. All right, so, so we got a pretty big pot to start off. Starting with off with a bang here, somebody's going to be very happy. At least one of these players will likely get scooped, so it's a tough way to start your night off. But 
Kevin Y in the best position on both boards. Boy, you couldn't get much deader than those cards, although the straight discs come into the bottom. Kevin blocks it on that one end, so he's got to feel pretty good. We didn't have any flush draws. Yeah, so we actually, Kevin's going to get three quarters here. Yep, he is. If he but that deuce really makes the straights come in from any sort of dangler cards that somebody could have had on the top board. Yeah, does, and now he's missing the four prestige. He's missing the four, and uh, Owen's still with 2-2. Two, two. Wow, Kevin's going to go ahead and stick it in. <laughs> first, first hand we have it all in. He's so good at figuring out where he is. I mean, check to him. So good at it. Yeah, he's... You know, he, he's got to be thinking right now, well, I'm good on one board. As so many players would check back there and just hope that they take He's going to take it all. Value. Uh, it's going to be real hard for Bones to call. Unfortunately for him, he'd be calling for just a quarter just a of the quarter. pot. Yeah. Technically, he would get a refund, a small one. Yeah, do that math in your head quick. Tell me what you get back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty close, but <laughs> this is Thanks why we're sitting in here right instead out the of, gate, yeah, Uncle T. <laughs> this is why we're sitting in here and instead out there is because yeah. we cannot do that math. I, I wouldn't be surprised. He goes ahead and puts it in. Bones did the math. <laughs> so the math will be done for us here in a second. He called 1310, and he's going to get 25% of 47.40 yeah, back. Big win for Kevin. $1,565 is a great way to start off the evening. It's, it's, it's a well, that's and why I call him the Kevinator. Yep. Kevin, a very good player. Nothing like scooping the first pot. Is, I typically say that even if it's just somebody winning, you know, maybe a, a raise, yeah. check, fold, you know, type scenario, maybe a hundred bucks. But uh, wow, if you can come out the gate, big one, with yep. a big one like this, this is a great way to start for Kevin. Well, folks, it's Monday night. I hope you had a good Easter weekend. I certainly did. The weather was beautiful in Austin. Beautiful weather. I have yep. no complaints about that. Hopefully it'll be beautiful for the eclipse this weekend. It, or I guess is, it's Monday, isn't it? I believe it is yeah. Monday. Yeah, I'm, I'm very hopeful for that one. I'm pretty excited about it. I have my, Are you? my glasses I bought off Amazon before they all sold out, not the paper ones. I actually better. got an invitation from the local car dealership that services my car to go on top. They're right down the road from us here and go on top of their dealership on the fourth floor and they provide food, drink, and, sun and the right glasses. And I think I'm going to take them up on it. And they said you can bring a friend, right? Um, <laughs> You know, I love you, and, okay, and you are enough. adorable with that right, clean shave, well, but no. You, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I live north of uh, a north suburb of Austin, basically. It's a different city, but uh, I'm going to go further north to Land Passes, where there will be the full eclipse. Try to get the, uh, the full experience. Yeah, that's – I was uh, – Surprised at how big the swath was that does get that. Yeah. Big. So we'll have 90%, something like that here in Austin. All right. We got Kristen in the box. Kristen in the box on a no limit hold'em, and it looks like we've got multiple straddles yeah, to kick things straddle. off here. 25. Kristen, one of our, I always rant at the beginning about our dealers at TCH Austin because they're the best in town by far, the all star team. She'll be spending the first two hours with us. Yeah, I can't agree more. Some of the best dealers uh, in the world, really. A lot of them maybe started in places like Vegas or uh, otherwise. But um, but yeah, so it's, it's since I started playing at TCH Austin, Many of them have been here the whole time, very experienced. Yeah, yeah very and, consistent uh, group. We welcome everybody to the chat today. Um, feel free to ask Uncle T or I any questions you may have. I want to say hello to Emily, Kiwi, already in the chat. Albert. Albert, Uncle Says, Albert. Good job to Kevin, absolutely. 
Yeah, that's a nice way to start. And a quick first no limit hand. We'll be with you until 10 p.m. tonight, everybody. Thanks for joining. We usually get to around 100 hands, so long way to go here. Kevin already up 1.6K after one hand. Fortunately for Bones, he's at the bottom of the list, but I suspect with his skill level, we'll see yeah, that Preston change over the too. course of the night. Prestige took a little bit of a hit, too. So I guess Bones actually lost $100 on that call. Lost 100 bucks, yeah, from the... So our math was... Close. <laughs> close, <laughs> close <laughs> which is how we are in poker. <laughs> <laughs> close. Silver medalists. Yeah. Yeah, we encourage you to chat away here. Um, we love questions. We love comments. We will agree with you or disagree with you. Um, we'd love to talk. We usually throw out a question tonight. So we'll do that sometime tonight. I hope you've thought of one. Uh, I have. You have? I have you did one, your, work, your uh, homework? Loaded and ready. Oh, nice. Um, I'll, I'll wait a little bit for. Uh, yeah, to yeah get we'll, that, we'll tease you with it. Yeah, we'll give you. Have a good little poker discussion. Sorry, Josh, he'd let us know. So Bones has made a flush here and has outturned prestige. He's going to bet it. Way in the lead here. Prestige does have the ace of spades and can make the nuts with the other spade. Yep, catch up with the fourth. Let's see what Christian does to us. Yep. But it's probably going to slow the action down a little bit. Paired board for... For Bones, he's not going to be too excited about betting in case uh, Prestige is playing too fair. Yeah, I think he'll go for value for sure. Prestige doesn't have any give up in him, so he's going to bluff at the river. But yeah. it'll be interesting to see if Bones just flats here. He, he $175 does look very value bet, you know, sizing, which sometimes can make a really good player like Bones think a little harder, but I think he'll make this call. I think he'll definitely call it. A, he could consider raising for more value, yeah. but it's a double paired board, so he just makes the call. Nice hand there for Bones. Yep. A couple of big hands to start with. The always, bomb a, pot. always a sickening feeling when you turn your flush or straight and then the board runs yeah. out like that. You get a double paired board, any paired on the flop. Yeah, you now the makes last full thing house. you want to see is the is a, another spade, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the, the worst. worst. Yeah. Thank you, Bones. Appreciate it. So Bones gets uh, a little back from his bomb pot. Gerald, that is not. Uh, we do have an age limit for our players here at TCH Austin. So uh, we, we have checked all IDs and everybody qualified. Except for my co-commentator, shaved his beard off and now is getting carded all over Austin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have been told that it took a few years off, but um, it did. As Almost I said, all of them. <laughs> as I said pre-stream, if there were two pays for your face, I would put my beard right back on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I I I probably did the classic double clutch when you sat down next to me at the tournament the other day. I'm sure there was some sound effects in there somewhere. Good times at the tournament. We'll get into some of the tournament action going on at TCH in a bit. We've got oh. Ace King here. For James. As James uh, shoves a little bit more ferret food into his face, and that's that's my guess, uh, Albert. That that is some sort of healthy food, which I personally think is borderline. Yeah. Animal, but um, <laughs> not not big on salads. I have been on a yeah, bit of a health kick, but I treated myself to some enchiladas across the street before the stream today. So, oh, well, I did a little cheat meal. I've got to be honest. I've been on a little bit of a health kick too. I've cut the cohibas down to two a week. <laughs> so, I try to try to take care of myself. Try to reduce it. Yeah, yeah. So ten, ten, six. It's going to check that call here. This is James way ahead with the dominating ace king. But Bones turns a flush draw uh, here. Another spade draw. Check, check. 
No, no, no more spades for Bones. Already got one flush. So ace high is going to be good for just James. I'll tell you, um, yeah, and all the showdown value obviously is in James' seat, but uh, these players know how good and how cerebral player Bones is. So there'll be a little bit of an adjustment as they play him. Absolutely. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much uh, experience Jess James is, but he's played with him a couple times, so at least I'm sure he knows. Not to poke the bear. And you're always looking for action. All right. Always yeah, looking for action. The, the, the bear is bones. I think with bones, he's <laughs> just not going to make it. Like a little hard yeah. 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 Uh, no matter the game. If you trap bones, you would trap the bear. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, folks, I'll tell you early. Um, we would like it if you liked us. So please yeah. press like. Please like and subscribe. Much appreciated as we go along. All right. Hand. What is it, number five? Yeah. Kristen um, is popping them out there. Typically on uh, on live stream, we get about 20 to 25 hands in. Uh, we don't play as many bomb pots because we don't have the dealer change by bomb pot come up except for the one time, and that's at the same time we do our bomb pots anyway every 30 minutes. So that speeds the game up a little bit. You know, of course, you know if you play bomb pots that uh, that can be a, a slow affair. Bones is going to bet his gut shot. Phil's not, not going to be able to call. The great thing about 9 8, it's an easy hand if you hit, and it's an easy hand if you don't hit. I do like that hand. I know a lot of us play a lot of poker like those 10 9, 9 8, 8 7 suited cards. And they are giants. So, moved on to the next hand. Player stacks in front of you, not too much except for the initial bomb pack. But we're going to be actioning tonight. We're expecting to play in seat one that I, would, I know everybody will enjoy. Uh, one, looks like he's in on his first hand here. I don't think he was in on the last hand. If you know Chase, as we know Chase, you, you know that we, he can be very much an action player. I love playing with Chase. Besides, he's just one of the nicest guys at the table. So we've all spent time with Chase, and we know what the Chase roller coaster looks like when he feels like putting us on it. Absolutely. We will definitely be seeing some action from Chase. I don't expect a low V-pip whatsoever. You know, I, I, yes, I agree. And uh, pre-fop aggression will be strong. Kevin with the suited ace. Carlos is in. I think he's for first hit. Three bets to 90. Tillman actually goes ahead and throws away his pair of fours. A lot of folks may consider set mining there. Yeah, I, I, probably Tillman's the tightest player at the table. I think that's a fair assumption. You'll see that tonight. Another guy that just does not make mistakes. And the ace is a binker. Not much for Carlos Stahl. Yeah, a side board, no redraws, really. He's going to go ahead and lead out, though. Kevin's uh, checking to see where he is. Down bet to 60. I don't know much about Carlos, as we mentioned, but Kevin, I assume is not as well. Maybe they play together off stream, but haven't seen him at TCH. Doesn't mean he's not in town. Four on the turn brings in some straightening cards, but unlikely holdings. Pretty safe bet is going to be a check back after the call. How'd you get that if you wanted to talk about everything? See how aggressive uh, 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 <laughs> telling the story. Kevin may be falling out of love with his nine kicker. Well, pre-flop aggressor, the three bet to 90 pre-flop. Kevin may be thinking this is a better ace than mine. 
Lots of better aces that Carlos could have. I mean, he loses to uh, obviously anything ace 10 or better, but he's going to come along. <laughs> So b good pot building up. Of course, the straight draw gets there. I don't think uh, Kevin put, uh, considering the preflop bet, in any combination of will get there. Yeah, I always hate the four liner to the straight. So Carlos gets take it up. Down. So a good pot. Carlos, a uh, little bit of his hand caught in the cookie jar. <laughs> Yeah, but good to see he's, you know, he's here for some action. He uh, was trying to tell a story that he had an ace, but unfortunately for him that time, Kevin yeah. flop top pair. <laughs> and, and the board run out may have been a concern for him. Yeah. Dude. Being the pre-flop aggressor there, you're, you're, you're opening up your range for the other player that calls you more than you are your own. So at least the perceived range. Yes, thank you. Um, Rina? Get on him. Seriously? Whip that horse. Unreadable says, I thought I was going to get to watch any live poker today. Well, welcome to this stream. Yeah, glad to have you, Unreadable. I don't know if we're going to be, we got to come up with a nickname for Unreadable. 45 pounds in four months. Because by virtue of the fact we read her name, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's denying the, the, the name. It was easy even with the numeral one as the L. Yeah, I've been, unless you have uh, a lot of X's and Z's and maybe a couple of Y's in your name, I think we could try to say it. We are from Texas, so we don't do good with. We might say it with an accent. Yeah. <laughs> what is your, what is your, Arc or What is that? All right, Unreadable. Glad you joined us. It's a good night to take it easy and watch a little poker. Absolutely. Prestige. Raised by Tillman for the suited connector here. Does have the button. Yeah. He hits, but uh, the diamonds are going to squash too much action. Prestige and Chase both have a diamond. Chase with the best diamond, he's going to bet it, and I assume we're going to see this <laughs> quite a bit tonight. And, and this is kind of out of the Chase playbook. I'm in early action. Oh, my gosh. Prestige he gets just shipped in two ships it. with the open ender and a, and a call diamond. for Chase. Oh, wow. my goodness, folks. This is so, uh, you know, they're going to run it twice, and Prestige hits his straight. There you go. See what happens on the next part. He hits two straights in a row. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Nails the landing on the turn both times. It chases looking at the hands like, what the frick? Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's a bit of a sucker punch. I mean, I didn't look at the equity numbers there, but, uh, I mean, Prestige had – some decent equity, yeah. probably 30% or so. I didn't see it, but but to hit both of them is a bit of a gut punch. Well, that was a big hand. We had a lot of big pots early on here. Two of them going to Kevin. I think it's a little too late. I think it would be really bad. That one there had to chase his way. If I put like wow. So we'll get a reload from Prestige. He does not show up with less than one bullet in my experience. Yeah, I think I said the name's backwards there. That was just, well, yeah. I'm also a Actually, one correction on the top they, they board. Um, yeah, they didn't Cha split. Yeah, just, so uh, Chase's nine of diamonds saved him on the Oh, board, so that's correct. He got the did, diamond um, on that. Oh, okay. We well, did I, have a chop pot there. We did? Well, why is, why is uh, Prestige re reloading? Possibly there was a misread by the card. Yeah, you know, go, fo folks, uh, unfortunately, um, y'all are going to have to fill us in on that. Looked at the fourth card suit. I, I'm very confused at this point. Well, why is Prestige reloading after that uh, run out of the – I'm asking our producer. Double run, yeah. On the, yeah, on the one board, the lower flush. Oh, really? Oh, that's right. Yeah, oh, it, it was lower flush and then, yeah, the lower Oh, the my straight. gosh. Boy, yeah. folks, we, I totally bungled that one up. Please forgive me. I, 
mean, they are so kind. Okay. Like, it wasn't even a bomb pot, and I screwed it up, Mel. So we had straight flush for Chase there. Um, and just, just yeah, I, I, I thought it was a sweeper, but uh, yeah. All right, so I pulled a hamstring on that one. I'm going to go out and do some stretches. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, me too. Especially 100 hands in, <laughs> <laughs> checking every. <laughs> oh, mommy. Reading every board it does. It's a lot to keep up with. Well, yeah. This is where, you know, you need Lottie in the room because he just doesn't miss anything like that. Have you ever noticed that? It's, a, it's very irritating. Yeah, very, very rarely. Albert says hi in the chat. Welcome, Albert. Yeah, Albert was uh, trying to figure out uh, what Chess James was. Oh, was eating, was eating yeah. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, we respect the rabbit food on the, on the, the green <laughs> ring. <laughs> Hand number nine. Uh, Working a lot of folding going on. I might want to do a body pack for some Chase with an ace four from the small blind. The Brown is going to make the call. <clears throat> Kevin will raise up his suit to King 10. From the big blind. And take it down. A smart pot. Not something you say very often when Chase is in the hand. Very rare. It's funny though, I, 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 there have been a couple times I've seen him just totally tighten up for the whole table. <laughs> yeah, it does happen. It's like you got the double straddle. Wait a minute, what a bomb pot? Another bomb. Are we already 30 minutes in? We are. That's a little soon. That 30 minutes flew by. It did. A lot of big pots. Antone, welcome in the chat. Antoine. Watching from Wyoming. Oh my gosh, Thanks where in Wyoming, us. Antoine? Antoine? Is it Antoine or Antoine? Antoine. Flush <laughs> <laughs> on top, bigger straight on bottom. Yeah, thanks yeah. for clearing that up, Richard. That was, uh, yeah, that was an unforced error on my part. Unforced error. Yeah. Yeah, I fouled that one off my face. Little, little tennis reference there? Yeah. Nine players. We're on a, to a bump pot for those who are not familiar with bump pots. It is double board pot limit Omaha. Must use two cards from your hand so you can't make one card to a straight or to a flush. Each board is a separate hand. You can use the same two cards on both boards. Flush board on the bottom, Broadway on the top. King Ten of Hearts is a Botho hand. Looks Just like James with a set. I see nine seven of hearts for Chase. That looks like the only hearts we've got. It's popping around for me. Yeah, set of fives for Bertram. Looks like we have the wheel. I believe I saw a wheel as we scrolled through. Somebody with a four. Yeah, they folded now. Yeah, Chase has popped the flush and King of Hearts on the turn on the bottom, King of Spades on the top. 10-9 is there, but uh, can't feel real good. Chase, that, Chase has got the hearts, though, and he's got a small straight on the top. He's got to figure somebody's got Broadway. Queen-9 is actually, no, no, there's not much for prestige there. He's got two pair on the bottom. Bertram would love to see the top board pair. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have that, like, like says hello. Please hit the thumbs up button. Oh, my Much gosh. Agreed. What time is it in <laughs> New Zealand? And Bertram does get the board pair on the top, so he has a full house jacks full of kings. I believe he had, has folded, actually, his set. So Chase actually has a scooper here. I think he only had one jack. Did you see a pair of jacks for him? Hmm. I did not see the set of jacks on that board. I saw the set of fives that uh, 
Bertram had. Yeah, so Blake did the same thing. He did the water faster, but he got way ahead. Okay, so Scooper to Chase. He's going to take the whole thing down. The dangerous man chips. Yeah, he's, watch he's dangerous if he's got $12 Chase, in front of him. You had seven, seven right hearts? Riverton. Riverton. Gosh, I don't know where that is. I, I spent some time in northern Wyoming, just across the border from Montana. Riverton, I don't remember. But that's all right. I've not had a chance to visit Wyoming yet, but it is on my list. I've been to many, many states in the U.S. You've really Wyoming. never been to Wyoming? That's gorgeous. Of course, Montana, East, uh, Western Montana. Wyoming. Back to No Limit Hold'em here. Got a $10 straddle on, as we'll have most of the night. 20 probably also most hands. That, that reminds me. It is April Fool's. It is April Fool's. I saw a car on the way here to Texas Card House that had a piece of paper uh, taped to the back that said, honk at me and wave for April Fools. I'm assuming that the driver of the car was unaware of this piece of paper. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. I haven't punked anybody today, so we got to figure something out. Maybe we can <laughs> punk David, our producer, our executive producer. I know, but maybe you could text him and tell him, that the uh, RFI chips caught fire on the table or something, I don't know. Yeah. Somebody's and I'll text him and say, Mel's been drinking and she's lost control of the board. Can you come back up? Or, I, think what would, I think what would stress him the most is somebody spilt a gallon of water on the table and ruined all the electronics. <laughs> I, I, Mel, we got to do it. Um, so we're we're conspiring. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have to say that. David. Yeah, we gotta text David and uh, tell him and uh, and say that uh, Kristen just threw up all over the table. <laughs> Is she saying no? Well, tell tell her tell her we don't take producing uh, cues from dealers. I want to like get in shape. Double straddle here from Prestige, up to 25. For those of you that don't know, David is our executive producer, sets this uh, stream up and works very hard. So if we do it, it's because we are cruel human beings. Chase with the suited king will come along. Button race here from Kevin with the suited ace Better diamonds. What's her name? Kaylin Clark. Ace three suited, good hand to play in position. Carlos with the suited ace, he'll come along, actually raise it up. Three bet from Carlos to 325. And Prestige has the jacks and jams the jacks. Nice jam, this will probably get through. Yeah, yeah. Although Carlos getting decent odds to call given the size of his three bet versus prestigious stack. Why would I take plus two right now? That'd be a horrible bet. It's gotta be like plus four or five now. I imagine if he could, he's, I'm sure he's most concerned about a dominating pace. Is it just me or Carlos looks a little bit like an angry bird? He does look a little angry at the moment. He does make the call though. But like, they say there's no right way to well, play jacks. Well, they find out how angry the bird can get here. This is one of the ways to play jacks. Get it all in well ahead. See if they can hold on two boards. Ace on the turn for Carlos, so top board is going to go to Carlos. Oh, you want me to look up the point spread? No. Let's see if I'm Prestige can at least chop this. I don't know what a point spread is. Well, and no. Then, I think 15 seconds, you're like, no. I know, it means, like, I know it means uh, that someone yeah. set a jack. Didn't need it, got it. With a little bit of an exclamation point at the end to make the boat. Yeah, put a dot above the jack to make it look like an exclamation point. So, uh, 
Christie's is going to win $70 for all that stress, and uh, the Angry Bird is still alive. Not running the best in the double board or, or in the running it twice department so far tonight. But oh, that's Carlos's thinking face. Oh, Juan plays with him often. Well, My welcome, thinking Juan. face looks much less intimidating than that. Most of the time it just looks like I have gas. <laughs> you are under the gun, Preston. Yeah, that is a buzz kill. I agree. Okay, now, now the line's got to be plus five. It's uh, everybody loves it. Um, <laughs> Mel's thinking about changing his name on the screen, but I think he, no, you're not allowed to do that. It might be the last time. Probably not anymore. Like that we knew well. There was a, yeah, maybe we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to make Carlos mad. We don't know him well, and, we don't well, know him well enough to punk him yet. If it was Kevin, I'd say go for it. Doug, one of those. Well, what we do know about Carlos, he definitely plays an aggressive style of poker. Yeah, he's, he's not afraid he's of three bit. Yeah. Somewhat light there with ace ten suited. And they would just chop the pot there with prestige. Yeah. They say everybody loves a chop pot, but personally, if I'm not in the hand, I hate it. Juan says the Angry Bird is perfect, though. Juan will uh, <laughs> well, Juan, take your word for it for now. You just tell him that Kyle said it. So we got double <laughs> trays here for Prestige of Bones, so um, I can bet nobody's going to hit a set. Let's see how they duke it out. Not the board you're looking for with trays, right? Well, the great thing about trays is you're pretty sure that all the cards are going to be over cards. So it's, this is going to be about aggression. Goes check that call. I guarantee you Prestige is thinking about his move right now. Uh, and that's not a bad card to do it with. Quick check. Both players with showdown value. Prestige will fire. As Here's the move. You may have guessed. This is going to be a tough spot for Bones. Yeah, it's been basically a pot size bet. Yep. <laughs> I guarantee you, it, uh, knowing Prestige, having played with him, uh, he wasn't thinking about what his cards were at that point. Nice pickup for Prestige. Yeah, that, I like that play. Just like not, that move. Not to get scooped or chopped. I'll give you, I'll give you the recently married you Prestige. <laughs> Congrats Ask him how prestige. it's going. <laughs> I know the, 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 at, the, at the end, like, you will do I have, nothing Iowa wrong and you will do nothing wrong. Right. <laughs> so I could win both. I do want to give a special, um, I hate using the word shout out I because I feel like I'm too old to say it, but like call it a shout out to uh, Miss Karen. She oh, often plays the, the weekly score. tournaments here yeah. at TCH eight, with then. Uncle T and I, I, I um, often I listener to the stream. Hopefully she's listening tonight. So just want to call out Karen yeah. for watching the stream. She actually said something nice about us, which I always advise against just due to general ego. Yeah, you gotta. You can't feed an ego like mine. That's that's a dangerous thing to feed that bear. Well, there's 154 of you on right now, and we really appreciate it. Thank you for being here on a Monday night in Austin, Texas, for our two five live stream. I am Uncle T, and my partner, the Whammo, the Whammer, Kyle Frisbee is in the booth with me. So. My full Christian it's name is Vinsky Gordon Stripper Hunt for this time. Wow. No, no, no. I was so not aware of that. It's a long yeah, yeah. birth The basketball game will be over first. Okay. But yeah. I'm known as Tom Gardner, for those of you that don't know me as Uncle Tim. You want LSU? And we've got our producer, yeah. the lovely I want LSU. Mel! I'll take LSU 8.5. What, what, what is your, your, uh, no. your online name? The line online is 8.5. Oh, we got to yeah, fix so that. Well, you don't have an reasonable. online name? You're not paying any I'm being very reasonable. Not. And <laughs> Kristen is in the box tonight. She'll be replaced you, after a couple you. hours of arduous day, duty. Good. How about you? It's not easy to be in the box for yeah. live stream. We always talk about that. It's uh, a lot of concentration. I think play tournaments full time yeah. Mel barking in your ear and, uh, and us trying to punk David and all these things that she's got to think about. Uh, it's, it's, it's heavy duty for a dealer and a big table, which is hard to reach out. I know that I have to push to the uh, uh, Who? Uh, no, 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 I read it wrong. Really? I would have thought y'all's arm size was about the same. I mean, I like the gamble. You got her on reach? 
You're the Brittany Griner of dealers for compared to Kristen. I always like the best of Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough job. They have to do a I mean, unless you want to change it real quick. And they are calling out all the bets as they go to produce some mail, so. Yep. Kevin's not that too. No. Yeah, and, and I, I can tell you from sitting at this table that we talk to them all the time, and they get this glazed overlook. You learn to recognize that when, uh, when they're getting instructions and the, the video is catching up or whatever, camera is shaking or whatever. So. Bertram's going to raise a suited one gapper here. Daniel's got a pair of sevens on the button. I was thinking about the uh, $500 bet. Not, let's see. We're told that there may be a hand read error here for Chase. We'll for Chase get around or Prestige? Prestige. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Preston. Yeah, Pres yeah Prestige is... Uh, our oh, Prestige, actually. Yeah, okay. whose who's mom and daddy given name may be Preston. And uh, since he's got married, he's Daniel's going to jam here muscles. with the sevens, and Prestige is going to wow. come along. Wow. So we don't know exactly. This A6 would be, uh, that would be a pretty, uh, pretty loose call. They're going to run it twice. That's a very connected board. The clubs get there. Sevens are good, though. No, I take it back. He's got ace 10. Okay. So he did win that top board, and he hits the second board. As well, so it looks like Preston's wow, gonna, prestige. Prestige gonna is going to scoop, scoop it. One. Daniel, also another player we're not as familiar with. I uh, believe I've seen him, but uh, <laughs> a bit of a hit. There. Ace ten was that, that the board that you're seeing right now was not correct. It was Ace ten unsuited, and uh, big pot for Prestige. And Prestige ran a little bad in the running it twice early on. Yeah, he got, he got it back here. Got it back there. I don't know if he's even yet. <laughs> Makes a very nice tip with cash. Good. We were just Good talking about Prestige. how hard Kristen was working, and she gets rewarded. But you know, you feel very grateful when you hit both boards on a double run out. Like no that. doubt about it. <laughs> Uh, we got a bit of a note here. So this is this is great time after Mel gave me a little bit of note about you know some disturbing information that's come about on my table. So folks, um, I just want to tell you that sports betting is is uh, rampant in our country, and <laughs> I personally, being a poker player, don't believe in gambling. I believe in poker. I'm but the same way. Are you the same? Yeah. I, I, well, I never bet on my teams. Let's put it that way. I may bet on other things. But uh, there's a lot of talk at the table, and I guess some uh, bets going on about basketball right now. Oh, the famous LSU-Iowa matchup. Yeah, so we may see some. If you see cash flying around the table, it has nothing to do with poker. It's either a tip for Kristen or it's about the LSU-Iowa game, which that is a great game. I'm, I actually I would, thought about it yeah. when I heard this morning that I was going to be doing the live stream. I thought, oh, dang, that's like the game I'd love to see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, no commentary. Mel does not want to know. So if you tell me what's going on with the game on the chat, I will definitely shout it out. I think I've placed like 25 sports bets in my life, but one literally. Hand number 16. Even when I'm sure I'm bad. Even when I'm sure I'm bad. Six, five, seven, eight, 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 eight. Quite a few raggedy hands here. Just yeah. James does have King 10 prestige with connecting cards, unsuited. Now I'm going to call with Broadway. Oh, oh, I'm, so I'm so sorry, Chase. I completely forgot. Yeah, you got to speak more deeply. He said it. It's in process. It's like Chase was in the straddle. He's going to make the call with a ace six. Well, we saw ace six for pre prestige on the last hand. I hope that's accurate. You heard me, but you were like, you gotta use your Pope Fiction voice. <laughs> and a jam from just James. He wants to pick up dead money. Wow, what a maneuver. Correct here. And it's, not, it's a great read. I mean, 
Uh, these two hands are not going to call him. Especially after Presti's just uh, got real fortunate and hitting his cards on both boards. You can see the smile on Prestige's <laughs> face. He may be thinking, I have two live cards here. <laughs> He's thinking right now, somebody stole my move. <clears throat> nice Gives the move. table tap and says, nice hand, and it was. He just nice shows the played. king. Going to let them ponder on whether there was a matching card underneath there. Nothing like picking up $300 in dead money without a flop with King 10. Well, I'd say, honestly, the first 45 minutes, this table's been pretty good. This is a great table. Yeah, we've seen some action. We've seen some maneuvers. We've seen some double runouts. Some, some scoops. We started off with a big uh, bump on it. <laughs> what else do you want on a Monday night? Put the game on, turn the sound off. Listen to us and watch a little poker on the laptop. Getting money hard work. I still, I still think the uh, New Zealand is going to be the, the distant. That is, uh, that's yeah, that's, that's a hard the one most to beat. interesting. Where, you, where do you have to be to beat New Zealand on the globe? Because that's pretty much that's, all the that's way up south there. and all the way over <laughs> yeah. on the opposite side. If you drill a hole from Austin straight south, you end up in New Zealand. Yeah, you may. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you may. I've flown to Tahiti, which is a good portion of the way there. That's a long You've been to flight. Tahiti? I've been to Tahiti, Bora Bora. I don't like you as much as I did 10 seconds ago. <laughs> you know, Bora Bora is that place that I've always, you know, the bucket list. That's Strongly recommend. Diving Bora Bora. Diving the uh, World War II wrecks in Bora Bora. Oh, okay. I did not do that while I was there. Yeah, I'm a diver. I used to be a big diver. I did do some snorkeling, which was very cool. Almost got bit by an eel. That was really? exciting. Uh, yeah, I was swimming over a, kind of a large coral rock formation, and I looked down at an eel with a head the size of a football that's about three feet from my stomach. And uh, that's the fastest I've ever swam. I, I'm surprised you just didn't pop up out of the water and yeah, hover. I, I, yeah, I made wake. Wow. <laughs> I did that with the copperhead once. I may have uh, walked on water that day. Carlos is going to raise up a pair of fives here. Prestige coming along with the suited king. We're seeing a lot of uh, raises with uh, mid pairs, mid to low pairs. No sets yet. Sevens and fives. And I think we saw some nines earlier. Right like to see the table with action in it. Gonna go multi-way to a flop here. <laughs> King eight deuce, so pair of kings for prestige is gonna go way out front. He's actually got two pair. Oh, two deuce. pair, yeah. yeah. Top and bottom. Backdoor club draw to boot. <laughs> that pretty much is everything he's got. Fortunately, nobody really with much to play back at prestige. And that's unfortunate when you flop a big hand and have a loose image as he does. You often yeah. get paid off at a much higher rate than maybe a, someone. Yeah, I almost wonder if that was for him a little bit better of a trappy hand. Now it, it, he's also thinking with that many colors, there's got to be another. Somebody, there's got to be another king. Yeah, a good king, like an ace king is ideal, but we didn't see that kind of pre-flop. <laughs> Need to take well, like four planes to reach New Zealand, says Kiwi. Yeah. That's or a lot of planes. Well, I'm, my it assumption is that he means like back to back to back to back. Like yeah, so not at the same time. Right. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't chop you up and put you in luggage yeah, on four yeah. different planes. Thank you, Jones. Wow, four planes. Is one of them where you live like a real small plane? Because there's nothing like better. This was Argentina was this way. Nothing like better than doing like a four-legged trip and it ends with a very small little hop on a, That's on a puddle jumper. That is how it was from Tahiti to Bora Bora. You were, um, oh, the Bora Bora plane. You're, you're just praying yeah. for touchdown. <laughs> See, I love those little airplanes because I'll jump up in the right seat. There's usually just a pilot. When we go to Belize I, and we puddle jump on Maya Air or one of those, Island Air, I always Always jump in the right seat so I can. Yeah, the, the, the stressful thing about that plane also, the airstrip is right next to the beach. So if you're seated where I was, it looks like you're landing in the, the ocean, ocean. <laughs> until you, you actually touch down. Yeah. So we got Jack, Jack, nine, nobody with the Jack, just James 
is going to be ahead with his queen high. King on the turn doesn't improve either player. Gut shot for Jess James now. Chase will actually take Flash it down. Flash the 6-5. With the and I, you know, I don't know if Chase ever does need to show his rags that he wins a hand with because uh, it doesn't change his image much. I don't That's know. true. <laughs> I uh, I will manipulate my image occasionally by trying to show a raggedy hand. Let's go Iowa, says Albert. You know, um, yeah, I'd kind of like to see them get a little revenge for the national title game last year. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that as well. And, I, I, you know, uh, I think it would be great for what's her name. Uh, the greatest. Caitlin Clark. Clark. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> She's incredible to watch. I heard she had a five million dollar offer I'll take, I'll to play in the big three that um, three on three yeah. uh, basketball uh, organization. Well, I think she's probably WNBA bound. Yeah, five million though. That's a pretty yeah, nice that's offer. Pretty well. you, can, you, can do, you can do a lot of things. Five million. She's gonna make five million. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to. Yeah, no, you don't have to. You're You're dying on the dying. She'll probably have her own yeah, Nike product to line before too long. Anybody want to play red black? So we've had a few hands that have still had some action but haven't had a lot of cards. This may be one of those. Is it just me or have we seen A6 like uh, 10 times already? It is not just you. Yeah, that seems to be the hand of the night so far. Ace rag, A6 specifically. Kevin will take that one down. So you can see our, our stacks. Kevin is up 1.8. Not unusual. Prestige still down three. Couple of hits, made a little ground back up. Carlos is down 410. Chase is up 1,000. Daniel's up 1,000. Bones is down, but he doesn't have a lot of non winning sessions, like so that. that'll probably come Story back. Stretching. Bertram's the only one that's kind of in the middle. But, uh, Bertram and Tillman have probably played Different the least number of hands. Hand. I haven't seen the beat like yet. As we go to hand 21. Daniel's going to raise up the yeah, A7 yeah. suited here. Nobody Take else with much. Prestige makes the call with 7 4. Unfortunately, has a dominated 7. And the A side board here will probably shut ball, things down. Yeah. Daniel Offense way down, ahead. Prestige actually drawing to one out, yeah. needs yeah. the final four in the deck. Daniel's going to check it over to Prestige, maybe taking advantage of Prestige's aggression here a bit. We'll make the call. We got a good pot building here. Prestige dead to the final four and no four. Said we have a deuce. Hearts on the river does make any three with a wheel, but. Never mind, I my bet. Wow, Daniel with a nice pot. I don't know, I don't have 45 bucks. Wins 657 with just top pair and a marginal kicker at best. <laughs> Taking advantage of Prestige's aggression there a bit. Checking over. I got to take $24 exactly. I, I'll do 20 You got 20 
So here's our V-pips. It's early, 22 hands in, but Chase leading the way, playing 60%. Tillman and James at the bottom, but it's early. I'm sure we'll see those players get involved as we go along. I don't even know who has the ball, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's uh. Oh, LSU ball. What LSU just just made a layup? Oh, then I don't know. At the right before. Is this it? No, this is. Oh, right no, we're gonna miss it. I got a feeling it's right. Oh, this counts, right? No, no, that's a refund. I'm bribing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I win. No refunds, no guarantees. <laughs> uh, no guarantees. Come on. If you win, it's gonna be like. Yeah, this was the that's layup. Right. Next oh, no, what the heck? I don't know. I don't really watch sports. I only watch football. No one with a true premium yet. We've seen Ace King, but no pocket aces, no pocket kings. Did see the Jacks from Prestige, so. We're due here for a clash of a couple high pocket pairs. Kevin with the sixes here. Nobody with a set yet. Oh, no As the players react to the game. LSU Iowa playing here at TCH on the mini flat screen TVs. King Jack 8, top two for Bones. He's going to take the lead. Daniel does have top pair with his 10 picker. It's completely soaked. Yeah, I went through the wash. Okay, I hope so. I got, uh, if you got change for 100, I'll give you a clean 100. Bones will bet his two pair as the players exchange NCAA tournament bets. They're like, why is money being passed? Oh, man. Yeah, game, dude. Yeah, game, man. Three of spades on the turn does give Bones also backdoor spades. Really did not need help. Has Daniel drawing dead. Let's see what Daniel decides to do here with top pair. He's going to check it over, and Bones is going to bet 200. Tough spot for Daniel. He makes the call. Also out of position makes it much tougher to play. Bones actually improves to a flush on the river. Did not need the flush. I got to be on the favorite side. Daniel's going to check it over and see what Bones does, how much value he goes for on the river here with the second nuts. 700 in the middle. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Wait, we don't have the back up. But... Yeah, but if they got the oh, no, so the oh, the Bones is going to go 500, so about three-quarters pot. Oh, oh, Daniel in a tough you spot here. Money, too, I thought I said I took the score, didn't I? I thought I was taking the score. But you were what? taking don't score. No, I was taking score this time. It's losing the king queen. Let's it go. Good fold there by Daniel. That I just made with him. Another nice pot going did, did, Bones' his way. Yeah, he's score. got the spades I, going. I, 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 right. yeah, seven yeah, yeah, said, okay, Excellent point. Yeah, spades are in Bones' corner. Absolutely. Why would I make the same bet? Take a moment here, folks, just to remind you of our PA tour here at Texas Card House. Tournament poker players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Card House Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. Well, there's not many good reasons to go to Houston, but that's one of them. That is one of them. That's fair. I'll let you get your money back with the score is what you said. 
Walter, Rape you are a trap. poker player. You are a poker said, player and you don't have Poker Atlas, strongly but, uh, recommend downloading it. It makes signing up for God. seats, everything yeah, much easier. Trust me, I wouldn't stiff you over 20 bucks. I would never do that on live stream. We should, we should run it back and whatever, whatever I think I'm not going to bet you anymore. Just to River Rat says <laughs> TCH commentators yeah. love you guys. Much appreciated. Wow. Like you know, I told you the gear. If you want to, we can, we can see what was said. We can honor all right. Right. Yeah. 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 It's the thing to do. If you want to, we can honor Oh, that's right. We're yeah, not on camera, so they can't see. You, you want to put yourself on camera? Yeah, yeah, see how good you look? I'll pass. I think the initial view uh, <laughs> <laughs> to start the show is, is enough <laughs> until my beard. I uh, I missed my beard. Well, Prestige flops the nuts on the bottom. I think that's exactly what we're doing. Right? Looks like Tillman's got the top and bottom pair. That's, That's about score, it. Yeah. Uh, Bones Diamond with the same the boat. For Daniel. Yeah, 3 2 and 3 2. Yeah, Looks like we're going to get some money in here. But, you know, of course, the next card that comes out is guaranteed to be higher, I'm, I'm guessing, unless we get another two. Just a so it's a strong prediction down. from yeah, Uncle just, T. Thanks. Yeah, I can do that math in my head. Yeah, that's always a dangerous boat to, to flop. Let's we'll see who gets lucky and hits either 8 7 for prestige or oh if an eight hits <laughs> they both got an eight so if queen hits it'll be a little bit better for bone chase with a, if a seven on the bottom would be a huge card for chase he would have the nut flush draw on the top as well as top boat on the bottom but yeah he's got nut diamond draw on the top that's why he's in the hand give us the seven one time yeah give us the give us <laughs> you're asking for a disaster Chase now picks now that's up the nut flush. So now they've improved to a better boat. They, they're both thinking, oh, I hit my dangler. Chase, yeah, Ch Chase, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Chase in a great spot here to win some money. That feels like such a lucky thing. You're, you're thinking when you've got that low boat, oh, my gosh, this next card is going to kill me. It's going to be something I hate. It's going to be in somebody's range like an ace or a jack. Not favorite. I just think. Yeah, Chase in a great spot to get three quarters of Bones and Prestige's money. And, uh, and Chase, <laughs> you know, uh, he, he doesn't know that he's he's ahead. He's got 84% on the top. He doesn't get there. Matter of fact, the board pairs. He does make diamonds on the bottom, which will make him. Chase does have the jack, though. He. He does improve to trip jacks. Oh, he does have the top. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, he does improve. Okay. And it doesn't take that much improvement for Chase to get serious. Wins, but uh, for, a, for a small, well, not so small, but $700 bet, Christie's going to go all in. Bones is going to think. He, they're going to hate this. They're going to hate yeah, the quarter. It's, it's the shrug call, but. It, and, and also, having played oh, probably oh, thousands of bomb pots at this point, yeah. it's pretty rare to get. Uh, three quarters. Now the boat. amazing thing is, if by some chance they do get chased to fold, Bones is going to win the top with a queen. That is true. Chase is staring down just Honestly, trip jacks. Yeah, Any like, boat oh, on yeah, top like the does beat him, but I can't see him letting this go. Oh, dude, that's, so, that's even grosser. Uh, <laughs> it's like mildew. Oh man, I can't does have the backup plan of the Those diamonds on the bottom. So we'll see what Chase does here. If he goes in the tank a little bit, it's a, I'm going to be rooting for him to fold just so Bones can take half the pot with Queen Hot. I think he's very likely to find a call here. He, he just he has a strong enough hand on both boards, but you hate this spot because you're against two opponents. It's very right. likely that they have, have been a hand betting that beats. aggressively and calling pretty quickly. He's got to think of what over the like aces, they got fours, you know, maybe they got the another jack like ace jack. You know, he's, he's, he's running through his mind. And he's, he's gonna, I think he'll come to a call here, but and he's going to be very pleasantly surprised if he makes this call. It's going to be Christmas. April. He's probably thinking, is there a way I can get half, but it's actually three quarters. Yeah. Service like went through it, and they were like, "Okay, we can recover this much." Well, he's he's yeah, he's getting he's getting half, um, not three quarters, because he doesn't have a, a, anything on the bottom. Oh, because, right. But, excuse but, me. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, half he, of three people's money. Still, it's gonna money. feel like three yeah. quarters. <laughs> he's gonna get 
uh, a lot more money than he realizes. I mean, he's going to take $1,250. Actually, his call, it, he's going to take more than that. But. This would be, oh, oh. You, this is going to be very <laughs> tilting. Bones is going to win it's with a be queen. very tilting. Can't wait till the table reaction here. Let's listen in a little bit. Jack's ace with the queen. Jesus. Queen high. Chase, did you have queen high beat? Yeah. Of what? Did you have queen high beat? Bones is queen high beat. Queen high one time. Queen high one time. Fuck you. Oh, look at the smile on Bones' face. Oh, this is, well, we yeah, this the same is super Christmas for him. <laughs> this have? is, especially yeah. when he has uh, the chase for Jack. I had a Jack. Yeah, 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 and I had enough luck. Oh, he's good. Let me too. A oh, brutal spot there for Chase. That, 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 that could be very tilting, actually. And it's it's going to be a little bit tilting. Jack is Steve Jack Jones, like, oh, holy dude. crap. <laughs> How could I have not just hit one? Oh, yeah, well, up, huh? you would have had yeah, to hit the seven. Eight. Otherwise, Ben would have had to. I, I love the uh, the cheesy smile from uh, Bones. But, you know, if, if, say there was an eight or a three or a deuce, uh, which couldn't be a three, but a deuce on the top, they would have still uh, yeah, chopped it. Because they would have had a pair oh, right. of the ace jack, yep. and, yeah. and I, I'm, I'm yeah. looking down my head. You have the aces and the jacks. They still so you need LSD uh, would have, wait, wait. They would have chopped. Yeah, you need LSD the queen would have played. So. So. Goes without saying that it's very just rare just for queen high to win a big bomb pot that's three ways to the river. Yeah, I think so. Wait, you're just like betting against yourself, aren't you? Wow. I'm well, our bomb pots have been entertaining as well. Very entertaining. That one, that's about as good as you it can gets. Take it back and, that, and that can be very tilting for any player. Um, I'll be curious to see if Chase, um, <laughs> if he maybe amps you know, up the aggression I've, here. I've, I've played enough cards that that man who does not have a <laughs> tilt. Okay, good enough. No, he yeah. just, he just yeah. does it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the happiest players that has ever lost. I was wondering if we're on or off. Yeah, he's very fun. He's just play with. Oh, he's more fun than a yeah. box of monkeys. Yeah. I just don't think it makes sense to be betting against him. He is, he is a I talking box and monkeys at the table. Okay. And then now I want yeah, Iowa. Before I didn't care. Once I talk to I just yeah, we, we may call Iowa. Carlos the yeah. angry bird. Chase is the free bird. Right. He is the free bird. Iowa, yeah. Absolutely. We made a little adjustment on the volume so everybody could hear the uh, table talk after that. Let us know in the chat if you can hear Uncle T and I in relation to the table, the correct amount. Um, yeah, we've taken it back down now, but you know, yeah. I always like um, when I can hear uh, more from the table. They're more interesting than us anyway. Sometimes so. we are, sometimes we're not. <laughs> this group, I think, is. Bones is right now about as animated as you'll see. Chase is always yeah, animated. Yeah, Chase is going to go ahead and raise up 6-4 after losing that bomb pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, if you can see in his picture, he, he's that's pretty much him, happy and smiling. So he's happy to put it in the 6-4. Raise with it. Got Carlos three betting now, ace jack suited. <laughs> Kevin Wise is going to wake up. He's got ace queen suited. Let's see if he goes for a four bet here. Does go for the four bet. He makes it 500. Yeah, this is where Kevin's strong. This this, this is difficult. <clears throat> uh, Carlos has picked some good spots for three betting. Unfortunately, once it was prestige that had Jackson. Yeah, this time it's Kevin move. with. What a great move by Kevin. Yeah, lots of lesser players would just say, "Hey, let's see a flop with Ace Queen and hope to flop top pair," and he just takes the money right now. Yeah. Well, that was entertaining. That was entertaining. Bomb pots are not my favorite thing in the world. You know, I always say it's a, a y'all heard me say this a thousand times, it's a good night to hold them gone bad or a bad night to hold them gone good. Absolutely. Rarely both. Um, but that was that was like uh, watching a one-two table bomb pot there. It always puts you in the blender. 
Hand number 25. So it's taking about, taking about an hour and two minutes to get to 25 hands. That's pretty typical, 20 to 25 hands per hour. We had a couple of exciting bomb pots and a couple of big pots. Not a lot of huge pocket yeah, pairs just yet. No. Uh, we've had the kings. jacks from. We saw kings, but we haven't kings, seen aces. Yeah. We've seen jacks. Like for an entree? Like you've won five bucks. No big pair versus big pair clashes just yet. Chase at the top of his range is going to raise. Daniel's got a pretty good hand to call with. But he gives it up. I, I understand. Prestige actually dominating Chase here, but just ace 10. He's going to make the call. Yeah, well, the two, two loosest players, the two most dangerous players at the table, are going to clash here. In a, in a close shave. His ace comes out. This is going to be about aggression now. Yeah. Yep. Put that ball there from Prestige. Chase kept the heat on. I think Chase may have actually jammed on the river there. Did it, oh, it was all in? I didn't see the button come out. Wow. So Chase picks that one up. And he is uh, uh, went to show down at 100%. Yeah. Only Bertram and Till Tillman. That's kind of the way these hands have been rolling out tonight. We haven't had a lot of uh, hands that haven't been show down today. A little confused by those numbers because I can think of a few, so I don't know exactly why we're 100% for those. I don't even know if that's a good deal. This is like talking to like a 50 year old person. It's fascinating to me. <laughs> well, we decided against uh, pulling a fast one on our uh, executive producer, David, by April pulling and we're thinking somebody uh, either threw up on the table or <laughs> dumped a whole big bottle of water on the table and made the RFIB chips catch on fire. <laughs> I believe each deck of cards is worth a couple hundred bucks. So really? Yeah, so wow. yeah, that would be that would be uh, that would be a problem. Minor minor heart attack for much less the table. I love that table. I, I can tell you one of the best things about playing in the live stream here in Austin is this table. I did have to give uh, a couple of players a hard time because they talked about how hot the lights were. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure they don't give off any temperature because they're <laughs> LEDs. <laughs> so. They do seem a little brighter when you're sitting there they than are. what you might come through on uh, on YouTube. But yeah. uh, pair of sixes here for just James. He's going to make the call. Kevin, though, with top pair in backdoor hearts. Gutter for Chase. Diamonds might slow the action down and a pair of boards. <clears throat> Pretty decent pot brewing here, 430 in the middle, so Kevin's going to slow down a bit. Worried about the diamonds, most likely. Well, that makes. That makes it difficult for anybody to, to, to uh, I guess you could rep a seven, but uh, unlikely this is probably check all the way down. Yep. As I say that, this change reaches for chips. Yeah, I'd imagine this is going to go fold, and Kevin probably just makes a quick call here. You think he's going to call? Yeah, I think he'll. For 115 and a. Yeah, he's getting huge pot odds. Yeah. I mean, the small Five bet does look a bit milky, but yeah. it, he only has to be right a small percentage of the time. Yep, he's getting 5 to 1. As our floor Jesse comes in and tells me that I've been ejected from the booth. And Mel falls on the floor. You heard that sound? Mel just completely ate it. Fell on the floor. He's okay. It's just just a flesh wound. Christopher in chat says Tillman not a type player. Surprising no showdown. 
Tillman, um, if you've been watching from the beginning, he's really been car dead. So I'd imagine over yeah, the and next. Yeah, I'd, I'd call him. I'd, I'd say he's in the top two as far as uh, being tied on this table. Well, so much per, for uh, predictions. Really, really Just James actually that. gets that one through with the worst hands. Wow. Nice hand for Just James. Well, he was, you know, he was a straddle, so. You know, Kevin may have talked himself into it. It's difficult to play the straddle of the blind because they can have that a lot more often. Yeah, yeah, I'll find out. I think it was a value bet. Of course, if you play one, two here at Card House, you know that a four or seven are always in play. <laughs> yeah. No matter what the position. Could be in their range. Yeah, there's a lot of range. Yeah, we, we talked about this the other day, and this can be one of the things that you can you can comment. We, we did this a couple of weeks ago, talking about the difference in the Austin, Parker, Texas, as opposed to other places. And I was talking to a friend of mine that uh, runs a card house here, shout out to Eli, one of my buddies, about how much of an adjustment it is to move into this town, especially this town, but all, you know, all over Texas, and adjust to the game if you've been in California or Las Vegas, yeah, or back east. Yeah, I've heard it's much tighter, a little bit more maybe ABC. Um, yeah, I, I have people ask me all the time that, you know, know that I'm a poker player. and They say that a lot of times if they know nothing about poker, their first question is, so do you go to Vegas a lot? Yeah. And my answer is, <laughs> is no. The, the best <laughs> poker in the world is right here in Austin. Yeah, so it's, why would I leave? I, I agree. Uh, I think you could say Texas in general. I think poker is good in Houston. Obviously, Dallas. I'm an Arlington boy, so you know, I'm going to say that. But, yeah, I, why would we ever go to Vegas? Yeah. It, I mean, there are other reasons to go to Vegas, obviously, but that's not one of them. Right. I have a lot of Austin poker players tell me about going to Vegas. Do have top pair here for Prestige. Okay, He's going to bet and win. The boss is calling me out of the room. Small pot. Cover for me. I think I'm going to get you know, reprimanded severely here. Stacks, Bones, sitting on about 4,900. Kevin, just under 4K, two of our biggest stacks. There we go, Daniel's gonna raise it up with ace-queen suited from the low jack. Chase definitely not going to fold his pocket fours. He is going to three bet. Oh, I'm sorry. My apologies. Three bet is to 110. Prestige and just James, excuse me, and Daniel are going to come along. Top pair for Daniel. He is going to check it and see one of the worst cards he could see on the turn with a king, although he is still way ahead. Makes two pair on the river. Unfortunately for him, nobody else with much. Prestige just a pair of eights. They'll make it 175 and get a couple of quick folds. So nice pot there for Daniel. Shows the ace.
take a moment to tell you about one of our promos here at Texas Card House Austin. We do have the quads of the day. It is a progressive jackpot, so it goes up $200 every day if no one wins. In no limit, if you have a pocket pair and you make the quads of the day, you win the jackpot. In PLO, if you have all four in your hand, you also win. I've seen that get north of $3,000 even somewhat recently, so. And was actually the beneficiary of winning it with Quad Kings um, some time back, so. One of the regular promos we have here at TCH. Tillman's gonna raise Ace Queen and get no action, unfortunately. And he will just take down the blinds and straddle. Chase has a raggedy five deuce, but he's going to raise because he has position on the button. Looks like that'll be good enough to take down the blinds and straddle. Bertram choosing not to play his jack seven from the straddle, and I do not blame him. On to hand number 31, Chase going to lay down jack seven from the cutoff. Bertram going to raise up the queen four and try to take down the straddle money. That's going to work. Three or so hands in a row here with folks not having much, but... Sure, we'll see that change here very shortly. got a real hand just James has ace 10 suited chase with the pocket fours again we are very due for a set and once again Kevin from the cutoff with ace queen suited I imagine we're gonna see a raise incoming actually just makes the call he will have position the remainder of the hand what just James decides to do with his ace 10. Only 95 more to come along. Let's it go. Ace 10, a tough, tough hand to play out of position against two aggressive players like Chase and Kevin. No set for Chase, but still ahead with his pair. He's going to go ahead and bet it. Really just two overs and backdoor spades for Kevin. Does make the call. Okay. 
nine of clubs on the turn brings in backdoor clubs. Kevin, excuse me, Chase, decides to slow down here and check over to Kevin. Quick call from Chase with just a pair of fours. Three overcars to his fours and the five of clubs on the river will give Chase the check mark. He does have the best hand here. Goes check, check, nicely played by Chase to hang in there tough with a pair of fours, wins a nice pot. While we take a break between hands, do want to tell everyone about the Refer a Friend promo here at TCH. A guest can earn $50 in rewards toward your time on the table um, if referred by a member. I've taken advantage of this many times with uh, folks that want to come try out Texas Card House Austin. So utilize the Refer a Friend program. It's great for the member and great for the new member. Yeah, it's difficult for me, you know, both my friends. <laughs> out of town. Can't get a lot of uh, yeah, referrals yeah, from, from your two of, friends. My Uncle two T. friends, yeah. One's a priest, yeah. and the other one plays uh, Baccarat. You know what's funny is that for some reason I felt like you were going to say Baccarat. I have no idea why. <laughs> Because we're so synced, buddy. <laughs> we're so synced with each other. That's I was thinking of, I was trying to think of the most he random game tries to that you were going to suggest. And I'm just like, and, uh, what? Baccarat came to mind. Although what I, I know about played. Baccarat, you could put all in one movie, Tombstone. <laughs> Daniel leading the way here up 1.5K. Kevin up just a hair with less. Chase now up $1,000. Hanging tough that last hand with a pair of fours all the way to the river. All right, so what's our question of the night? We're an hour and a half into it. We've only got two and a half hours to to discuss it, so you know how you and I could talk. So well, it's, it's what's, less what's the question of the night. Yeah, it's less of a question of the night, more of a um, idea. So uh -oh. a lot of times poker players like to tell their bad beat stories. Oh, gosh, it's such and a beauty. And so I, th I want to start the converse of that, which is the incredible hold story where you, you have a great hand and you can't believe that multi-way that it held that it up. held? Yeah, so. Um, aces that didn't get crushed by four opponents? Right, so it, it's, it's actually, you guessed it exactly, so part of the reason it came to mind is I had an incredible situation in a multi-way all-in with aces that um, actually held to the river and I couldn't believe it. I, I'll uh, spare all the details, but uh, basically in a four bet pot, cold, cold four, cold four, I go all in, three ways all in, my ace is held. So I was just looking for examples like that. But yeah. in the meantime, we do have Daniel here with ace king. He's going to raise it up. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Um, you know, obviously, you're bad at telling bad beat stories because you skip the details. And the one thing you never get with a bad beat story is an abbreviated it's, version. Yeah, there, there's you get no the such thing. the room, uh, every single person that was sitting at the table. What they ate for dinner that night, right, right before the bad beat, you get all <laughs> I, I the wanna, details. I want to bring the good hold story to uh, to the forefront. Yeah, it's like Daniel jumps ahead. Daniel does hit the king. Actually, was well behind with Tillman no, no and play. Carlos sharing the ace and pairing it on the board or on the flop, I should say. Nobody folds around. Carlos is going to abandon his hand. No, nope, he makes the call with a five. Well, if the base comes, it's going to be painful, but it doesn't. Fourth pair is probably not going to be something he's going to call much more with, but he check checked. And check back from Daniel there. That's a, that's one of those spots where you can really consider going for some, some value. extra value, yep. um, <coughs> especially in position but does take down a nice pot. 
I was ready when you fucking was ready. I was praying like it's like a nice spot for you, right? It is, like, I had I had Queen Jack too. I was like, I'm just. If I bet, I know y'all are coming. <laughs> I knew you had a pee. Oh, just to feel it. <laughs> All right, my favorite number, number 35, after the great cowboy Calvin Hill. I wore his number. He's my favorite cowboy when I was young. So 35 hands in. We've been playing for 90 minutes. It's been exciting. Good 2-5 table here at TCH in Austin. As my partner steps out of the booth for a moment, you got to listen to just me, and I don't have problems just talking to just me. But I would like to hear your uh, good beat story, as Kyle was talking about. Can't put too much detail in the chat, but... I had one like that the other day where my aces cleared multiple opponents, including kings. That's always nice. Looks like Till's going to hit the top with his jack 10. Chase bets 50 with his deuce. Till calls pretty quickly. Jess James is looking. He's got a deuce as well in a backdoor spade draw. Trying to figure out whether he wants to move or just, and he does move. Bumps it up to 200. Maybe thinking that bed has a little bit of weakness and he does get both of them to fold. Interesting. Nice move by Just James. He was a fun player to sit at the table with. Been playing since he was three years old. Grandma taught him to play. I always say that about Jess James because I love that story. Everybody loves a poker grandma. Speaking of poker grandmas, once again, we got our best buddy Mel in the house tonight as our producer. Always like to recognize her and thank her for the hard work she does. Kristen is done the last hour and a half in the box. Doing her usual great job. So what is your least favorite subject of conversation? Obviously, telling a bad beat story is not a, that's not a joy for anybody. I mean, it's like an old person talking about their latest medical <coughs> procedure. I don't really want to hear it, you know. I'm glad that the infection got drained, but that's kind of like telling a bad beat story. I don't really want to hear it. Uh, we have a dealer here, who, one of my favorite dealers, who will just, um, he'll go stone cold, you, you'll, you'll, you're talking to a sphinx. But most people that are telling a bad beat story don't want you to participate in anyway. So please uh, be considerate on the roadways and in your bad beat stories. All right. Bomb pot, our 90-minute bomb pot. Clubs on one board, diamonds on the other. We'll try to figure out what the heck everybody has here. Looks like a set of queens for Bertram on the bottom. And Jack Deuce for Kevin, two pair. I don't see any diamonds. Oh, yeah, Daniel's got nut diamonds. And he's also got a jack on one board. Tillman's got the kings, which are nice, but useless on this board. Easy to fold. Chase has got the club draw. Looks like the best and the only club draw out there. I don't know exactly how he has the Queen of Clubs, considering the Queen of Clubs is on the board. But we'll try to figure out what the... Well, he folded it, so uh, my assumption is he did have the Queen of Clubs. That would be hard to explain for Kristen. Proceeds is going to call. Looks like with a set of threes. Up again, he's up, up against a set of queens, so if the board pairs with a seven or anything but a queen or a three, it's going to be pretty up. Damn it. I called it, too. And 
Looks like it'll be a scooper with just queens on the top. Prestige has nothing on the top right now, and unless he hits his king, he's not gonna, not gonna win this hand. No joy. Yeah, another bad, bad run out for a bomb pot. Looks like it's gonna be a scooper for Bertram with queens over fours on top and a set of queens. Hold on, man. You got a thousand dollars. showing up. <laughs> I'll sell it to you for a hundred bucks then. <laughs> nice six hundred dollar pot. Not too big for the bomb pots we've been having tonight. Not too bad if you win it though. It looks like Prestige may be pulling the ripcord. See him stand up. Yes. And he was all in on that hand, so he may be calling it tonight, or he may be just driving down the road to Blown Shark. Rough night, up and down. Got swept by a pot. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That'd be great. But then swept the pot overall. Can't feel too bad for him. His lovely bride and he have been married for a couple months now. And, uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Our best of them. From what he said, it was a pretty boffo wedding. And I could bet. I could bet it was. Uh, 11th to 17th. Yeah. So looking at the RFI numbers, you can see the tighter end of the scale is going to be Just James and Tillman. Just James is not a tight player. I think Bertram and Tillman probably have that covered. Uh, Chase, not surprised to see Chase. Carlos has been pretty aggressive tonight. So that makes sense. Bertram gets one of my favorite hands, 10-9 suited. Uh, my favorite hand is 10-8 suited of the non-premiums. I like the 10-8 of hearts. Yeah, please uh, hit the like button. Got 180 of you on the on the chat. So uh, love to see you hit the like button. We like you. We'd like to know you like us. As we uh, get to hand number 37. Looks like Bertram takes it down with the 10-9. Takes a small pot. Yeah, have you got my barrels? On the number 38. Okay. Yes. Well, folks, so here's my question for you tonight. Yes. You know, we have this uh, promotion here at Texas Card House Austin. I believe it all the Texas Card Houses. Uh, where you can get quads in your hand in a bomb pot. You get four queens in your hand dealt to you, and you... Uh, <laughs> you play the bomb pot, and the queens are the quads of the day. You can win whatever the what the generous uh, pot is for that. We gave away a I want to say a thirty-four, thirty-six hundred dollar pot to quads. Of course, the quads can also come with two in your hand and two on the board. So I have never, ever, and I bomb pots are not my favorite thing, so I skip them every once in a while. But I have never had four dealt down in my hand ever. I don't remember a PLO hand where I've ever had that. I play a lot of PLO. So tell it, tell me about it. And you know, I know that's that feeling when you look at the first queen and then you see the second queen, you're like, nice. And then you get the third queen, it's like, well, I won't say what I say, but it's not a good word. But then you get the fourth one. What is that like? Irritating? Jump up and run over to the board and see if you hit. I know we had a friend of mine had four dealt to him. As Kevin shows up with Kings, see if he's got somebody that will play with him here. As we have a new player. Yes, sitting down. Not a new player. In uh, prestigious seat. Looks like Chase. Well, that's not surprising. Chase has uh, got a very playable hand for him. <laughs> calls the 35. Tillman called 35 as well. Actually, Tillman made it 35. Kevin's going to pop it up to him. It's like 155. And 60. And he's going to get a call from Chase. Till has been a little bit card dead and he plays Tiger. 
a twenty dollar Maki roll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's like, it's a little. Pricey. Well, that's gonna keep Chase in the hand as he hits his five. Like, in fact, he's gonna it was lead out for a paltry twenty five dollars into a three hundred seventy five dollar pot. Yeah, that's what she was three hundred sixty dollar pot. It's really good. <laughs> he's in disbelief. He's like, at that price point, it has to be good. Yeah. Like I. I I don't know if I've ever messed with this yeah, I know. Kevin comes out. Or is it 70? 75? Also, no, no, no. Sorry, 200. A little bit out of focus for me. And it's one. So Kevin makes a lot more money. Oh, as he bounces them off Kristen's arm. Shows. Uh, table reacts a little bit. Kevin does not show his hands, but we don't call it. Very, very rare. So that one's on Kristen. Kevin, how'd you end up in that? What time did you leave that night? Or that morning? <laughs> so, anybody uh, April Fool? Anybody punk somebody today? It's a great day for it. I used to call my mom. Did you like I, I stopped. She hit about 80 years old. I felt like it was it'd be considered elderly abuse at some point. But I took a lot of joy in punking my mom on April 1st. Now that that is gone to my sister. Is that a bully like bully chase like that? Matter of fact, as uh, Kyle comes back into the booth. I am going to, I need, I, okay, here, I'm going to give it to the group. Give me a good thing to text my sister that's at home. It's April 1st. Mm. My sister's on the West Coast, so it's still early. we got time. What is something question. good I can text my sister? I need something I can text her. She's a very, very serious woman. Okay. I am not. You know, it, does she have any particular hobby or strong interests so that uh, uh, she <laughs> likes? She likes. Um, I know the last time well, we talked yeah, about, uh, she's uh, she's a burger. Sushi bar Austin. Which, yeah, yeah, if you know what a burger is, is, that's somebody that likes to no, no, bird watch. Like, she's okay. Remember the Audubon? She loves birds. Her and my my mom on the track. My dad and I on the track. I made one of the shoes. But um, you, you could uh, say, did you hear that um, birds could now get? Um, you could say birds now get mad cow disease. Did you hear about that? Is that too extreme? So, like I said, I'm really looking forward to the ideas that the chat's rolling out. <laughs> you mean like bird flu? Yeah, like it, yeah. They, they figured out that the, there's this new strain. You know, that, that. you know, one of the things I have heard, one of the diseases that does occur is when people shave their beards off or lose their sense of humor. <laughs> My gosh, Mine's that's the best you, you, you got. You, you gave me about five seconds to think of something good. I came up with, you know. I was, and, and, and it didn't work. And um, I need something cruel and unusual. This is my older sister. Okay, we're That's not kind looking of cruel. Um, I'm, okay. I'm looking. She likes birds. She likes to, uh, she has a little kayak. She lives up in Seattle. Okay. She gets out on the waterway. Uh, you want to know what, like, really high-end fish is? Um, you know, uh, she has three grandchildren. I don't know. Wonderful. I've just never known what a else? fish place to be called Kane. Um, but she works for the city of Auburn. I, I don't know. I, I, give me an idea. I need something to puck my sister with. There's a city of Auburn up there. Yeah. Did not know about Auburn, that. Auburn, Auburn, Washington. Only know about the Alabama Auburn. Yeah. Chase going to raise up Ace yep. 3 Once suited. Again, top of his range, Ace 3 clubs. From the butt. Bertram gets a better hand. Honestly, I don't bumps think it up. No, he just makes the, yeah, he makes the call, 125 beating three, but it's one thing good about Chase when he sits at the table is you don't get mediocre browns. That's true, I did go to the gold and I got a well-done ribbon. Spades for Bertram. Yeah, spades draw for Bertram and a gut shotter. Nothing for Chase, so he'll probably bet. He does, he bets 100. He did it on my own. For the animals. He did it for the animals. Bertram just stuffs it. Just stuffs it. And he's, unfortunately for him, he's hoping he has a king, but he has nothing that he can call with. Nice, Bert. And, uh, that's nice move. Yeah, yeah. Chase will say, okay, I'm not going to play with him anymore. Nothing wrong with taking down 262 without having to uh, show down a hand. Nope. Actually, no pair, but huge draw. He was ahead. 
Yeah. You didn't I'll know. Hit him, I'll hit you with all of them. No, I was thinking more on the idea of uh, calling her and telling her that uh, yeah, something true. semi cruel. Uh, we are selling my mother's I'm house. I'm going to go to the retirement facility and we are yeah. selling your house. He's too poor. For that. And, you know, you know, I think it would be a little bit much to say, hey, never mind with the James realtor and, and, and all that because <laughs> the house burned down. <laughs> But the great news is we're going to get a bunch of money from the insurance company because the house's value is so high. I'm risking um, uh, risk reward, 3,000 calories. No, uh, you can definitely get more than 3,000 calories than that. For 20 bucks, you can talk about it. It's something on that order. You know, I, it, yeah, I, just, I drew a blank all day today. I didn't want to talk to my sister. Right <laughs> and I haven't come up anything good. I did. I didn't think about it until I saw the sign on the car um, yeah, on the that, way here that's that I mentioned. But that's a good point. For those just joining us, I saw a sign on the car on the way here that said honk and wave um, at the driver, and I'm assuming the driver is not the person that put the sign on the car. That's another good hand. They eat better queens. And Chase is in with 9 5. Which is in the middle part of his Speculative? Range. Yeah, it's. Yeah. King may slow things down, or, or it'll, it'll entice Chase to. The bad thing is he's playing out of position with Chase. If you check to him. Oh, can you check back? I think Bertram just going for a cheap showdown here, praying that Chase doesn't have a king. Yeah, I, well, I think he knows the chase would have bet the king. King was in Bertram's range. Bertram is such a smart player, he's thinking that. He only has to fade a king. There's no part of this board. I mean, you know, there's a straight there with 9-6, but. Yeah, Bertram takes it down easily, goes into check call mode. Not not a bad strategy at all. Again, <laughs> out of position against an yeah. aggressive player, yeah. you're gonna get. Yeah, you, yeah. They'll they'll kind of value on themselves. Seventy-five percent time Chase is gonna bet that, especially since he made a pair at the end. Yeah. So have you ever got quads in your hand on a ball pot? One time. Really? I've never, even playing One PLO, time. I've never had that. And it was aces. Yeah. No way. <laughs> that's a, that's got to you know, make an impression on your, your adrenal gland there when you see the floor. Yeah, it looks so pretty. It's got to be worth something. But it, it, and I believe it was, well, I don't believe, I know, it was before the promo we have here where you do get paid out for a hand like that. But... Um, yeah, unfortunately, it was just a junk bomb pot hand. <laughs> yep, there is nothing you can do. Usually with trips, I wouldn't even call. Even if I, I mean, yeah. Aces up in Tinky. I think Chase was just seeing there. My, my lucky number is 444, four, four, and I've had 444 four, four in my hand so many times in bomb pots. Taco Bell is value, though. Jack in the box is shit food and overpriced. Only the quads once. You never craved a, a buttery Jack. A buttery Jack. Jack. It's like they're... That's going to be pretty slang, right? A buttery Jack. Burger King's the worst part of a Jack. I think it's like he's a bomb. I'm going to do a Burger King burger that was frozen in the middle. It's definitely pretty slang. Okay, I'm going to do a Burger King burger that was frozen in the middle. Burger King's the worst part of a Jack. Hand number 45. Burger King's the worst part of a Jack. I don't know. I liked it because it had like the impossible walk. <laughs> That's an old one. You know? That's an old one. Yeah. That is an old one. Yeah, our poor Dallas Cowboys have done nothing this offseason. They haven't done anything since we got Amar Amari uh, Cooper. Yeah, that's the last big move that made a good impact. And that, but that was during the season. Wasn't it? I really thought they were going to go for Derrick Henry. I was hoping. I was hoping. Um, I wanted Derrick. It would have made too much sense. Uh, and then for Philadelphia to get in. Yeah, Dante, laugh it up. How come no card shufflers, Mr. Costa asked? Well, that's that's a good question. Um, you don't see a lot of card shufflers. Um, at the card houses in Texas. We do have some. Uh, I don't know if they plan to have them at the, at the new building. For those of you that don't know, and I think everybody does know. Uh, but we're moving in the next couple of months. Uh, about a block away from here to the north and west to the new building. And one of the things that they talk about be a much larger venue is that we will have the nicest uh, live stream area 
and feature table in Texas. Beautiful live stream area coming. Chasers up in New Hampshire. I don't know if it has car chuffers or not, though. I don't. I don't believe so that I've heard, but uh, there will be um, food and drinks available, which is uh, going to be extremely nice. And uh, I talked to. Did I tell you? About I did not. General man did not. Yeah. Shout out to Victor. Um, yeah, a great guy there, Chef. I don't remember his name, but uh, he was asking what would I like to see, what would I expect to see, and all that. And then he started talking about the DJ. That is. Yeah, which is, I don't know if they have that in New Zealand, but uh, I, or I love Wyoming. ceviche. I doubt it in Wyoming, I mean, I like but I ceviche like is a um, a fish or a shellfish yeah. that you yeah. cook yeah. in yeah. lime juice. Uh, yeah, seasonal cooks it is real big up there. Mixed in with some tuna. Like like it's it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> trending. Yeah. Season, seasonal fresh has been There's actually a little taco place across the street. When I say across the street, I mean across the massive highway, 183 here in uh, North Austin, that has ceviche tacos that I've had a few times before. Something nice. light and good before oh, you uh, so sit fresh. at the table. I made ceviche on a boat in Cabo San Lucas, and that fish was not done kicking. And I had already turned him in that little tuna. That was the best ceviche I've ever eaten, actually. The I'm wife, here, like, the former Mrs. Mrs. Gardner, made it. And uh, the, our Mexican captain look, was looking at us like we were nuts. Because yeah. we were eating yes. sushi we and making ceviche like before the fish even stopped yeah. kicking. <laughs> so just James bricks out here. Mm -hmm. Tillman's actually I good here. I, I do. I love it up there. Though. It's just you know, Not going to call that. you got to be a Texan. Let's it go. Nice play from just James. He's actually picked up a couple of uh, nice pots with uh, not the best hand. And I've seen that. Dad. You see the look that Tillman, the, the exasperated yeah, look. Yeah. I've had that look at my face before. The card dead. Um, I can't hit. Um, this is getting irritating. Although Till is a very patient man. And my physical character. And a good one, yeah. He's actually um, helped me. Yeah, did he, really? he did, actually, right at the poker table. So I, uh, I probably owe him one. But, um, yeah, just showed me an exercise that uh, took care of his pain. But my dad actually uh, went to his clinic and um, helped him out with his back. So. Yeah, so if you've got a physical therapy issue, chiropractic issue, Go to Tillman. Uh, usually he's got his Tillman uh, physical therapy shirt on. I think he did, and he well, put on a sweat. He got the hand he was looking for. He finally got gets Ace King, and he just sticks it in. All, and all I don't he blame was, him. Uh, Tom, Tom's business to and Kyle's dad's business. To this will be interesting. Kevin with Ace Queen, and he's getting decent pot odds, but he knows Tillman is not doing no. this with with air yeah yep. he's thinking about that and it's not a lot of fun having yes uh, to his left either oh yeah yes joins us it'd be interesting to see if yes is encouraged to call now that Yep, yeah, and he does. He makes the call. Wow, Tillman way ahead here. Way, way ahead. Yeah, they're running it twice. So let's see what this looks like. Our double boards tonight have been exciting. Yeah. Yes, just saw he's dominated. It's clubs or an eight. Another pair would chop it. And they do. They're going to chop Brutal. that one. Oh, shit. And the eight shows up. Oh, my gosh. If, oh, my gosh. Tillman's going to get one quarter of this. Wow. Nasty lose run out. Half of his stack. That, what is with our two boards tonight? I, I, yeah. I think, it, I think if I was sitting at the table, I'd say, all right, no, screw you. I'm not, we're going to run it once. Running it once or now. Or three times, <laughs> nothing, no twos. You can see the look on Tillman's face. Yeah, he I looks mean, like he just had your a card dead all night. With, with yeah. Said. yeah. Your card dead all night. You finally get a hand, and then and you, you get dominate your three quartered. Yeah. He tells you you're dominating, and then you you get you get, get your stack shaved in half. Yeah, that's nasty for Tillman. Yeah, we there, there's a bad beat story that we can all identify with. Where you're like, holy crap. JB did that to me one night. He was way behind, and 
Uh, uh, JB, the uh, uh, older JB. Uh, uh, the other JB, uh, like he, uh, he hit spades on both sides. Uh, uh, it's not a good feeling. Boy, it, it, yeah, I think, uh, honestly, if you're sitting at the table, I, I think you know, I'm not going to run it. You know, I used to always want to run it twice, and I usually, and I, I've played with you plenty, plenty, and I know you typically just leave it up to the other guy. I always say it's up to the other guy. Now, I, that, if I don't like you, I'm going to find out what you're going to do. So, I, I, I've kind of gotten where I'm, I'm just okay with ripping it if, um, unless the other player suggests something. And, if so, I then I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> yeah, there's like, there's like actual neighborhoods that are, you know. Yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, it's kind of a, it comes up a lot in Texas public because we have so so much aggression. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it's, I don't know what the table's laughing about here. Tillman's the only one not laughing at the table for good reason. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it, I think it comes up a lot more often than yeah, it does in other places. Um, the one thing that a lot of people don't realize is they think I flopped the set versus your flush draw, so I don't want to run it multiple times. And the truth is, multiple runouts only reduces variance. It does not re does not change the outcome likelihood whatsoever. So it's just a way to reduce variance, um, you know. And depending on you know, if somebody's playing up in stakes, they might want to reduce their variance by running it, you know, multiple times. Um, and uh, that would be a smart thing to do if you want to stay in the game in case you might get unlucky. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that a lot. I, I, I'm surprised sometimes that people roll over. It happened last night. Somebody rolled over a set of nines. And it's, they were the one that said you want to run it twice. Uh, and it was on the turn, so that the opportunity for it to change, and I, I almost thought it was a needle for a second. <laughs> I know that uh, that happened to me when I flopped a, a, a straight flush, and the, the young man was aggressive with me and went all in. And then afterwards, he, after we got it all in, I called, obviously. Like he said, uh, you want to run it more than once? I said, we can run it as many times as you like. Yeah, we can run it as Many as the deck will allow. And then I roll my cards over. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, he's like, holy. Well, I won't tell you what he said. But, yeah, I th I, I'm, I'm always a little surprised when, when strong hands do say that. I mean, I get it. Chase actually seeming to contemplate a call here, but I guess he's just saving face unless we have a card misread error. Yeah, oh, we do. Actually, Chase has the 10-6. Ten ten six. Six. Oh, so he's got so he does there. have a... So our producer saved our bacon by giving us a little note saying this is actually 10-6, not 7-deuce. Thank yeah. you, Mel. So Chase with a little bit more di difficult of a decision than the graphics might suggest here, but still um, he's actually a favorite. If he makes the call, just James actually has just a semi-bluff here. <laughs> yeah, he's open-ended and he's, he's kind of betting his... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, his straight draw. Is it you never? You're very rare that you see Chase uh, contemplate this. Game. He may be thinking back to when he oh, yeah. made the unfortunate <laughs> decision to fold in that earlier bomb Chase. pot when he would have gotten half of a three-way all-in. Yeah, that'll bother Chase a lot more than taking a bad beat. Yeah, he. Also, this is a draw-heavy board. Ch uh, just James could be doing this with spades or the exact hand he has. Yep. With the open Ace ender, deuce, you know, with the, you know, the wheel gut, um, yeah, spades. The aggression would indicate that the jack is potentially in play. He obviously blocks another ten, a better ten. Again, he has ten of diamonds, six of clubs. He's, he doesn't have a spade. He's like he's about to give it up. He's got that. When you put your cards on the tips of your fingers, that usually, usually indicates a fold. Yeah, when the car cards are no longer touching the table. <laughs> no, they're doing the oh, he now. goes for it. <laughs> wow, what a call he, he by faked Chase. Out. He faked this out. Now, he, now, of course, just James does have a lot of outs. That's me. Yeah. 
missed one. No, he, he makes the, the. Oh, he made. He did. He makes oh it. My so gosh. it's going to be a chop pot. Oh, but he got the. Wow. Got the gutter. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry I missed. I thought the ace was a good card. I know. Wow. What a call by Chase. Does end up with the chop. Well, at least we didn't have a sweeper for a change. If the bottom board had come out with the five of spades, that would have been swearing off of, uh, of uh, double boards for the rest of my life. So after all that, they win 75 each. But great call by Chase. He, yeah, had, a, very he had a good, good shot to uh, yeah. to scoop the whole thing he there. He did. He was odds-on favorite, that's for sure. On the same token, good semi-bluff by uh, just James. Nothing wrong with either player play there. Chase is down to being, you know, he was the... He's a chip leader for a long time. He's, just, he's still three hundred dollars up. Daniel's up one point nine. Damn. I mean, like I thought it was hard. Kevin's had a good night. Good night for Just James. He always has good nights. Very consistent, consistent player. Bones is <laughs> oh, yeah, very big. I'm drawing. <laughs> and on to bomb pot. All right, folks, we haven't seen much from the chat for a while. Talk to us. How's the game going? I want to ruin it for Mel. No, 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 I'm just saying that my I guess it's, what time is it? 8.05, Eight, yeah, it's just after the hour. About halfway through, folks. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. We've got a good bunch of you watching. Feel free to hop in the chat, talk to Uncle T and I. Well, I, I have been spinning my spare time in my head. You know, I have this little part of my head that I kind of hang out in even when the rest of me is working. Um, trying to think of a good online name for Mel, our producer. The, um, I think Melania might be a good one. Something that rhymes Mel? what rhymes with Mel. Lots of things rhyme with Mel. Smell, smell, Mel. Like no, that's not good. Yeah. Melania. He would play there every week. Of the game. And like, the game was pretty sick. I was very bad. At Random crap. For, for those that Smelly Melly is never going to be something I would go with. That's just, Kevin is going to turn fifth graders, uh, top set on the bottom board here. So let's see who's up. Carlos has yeah, King two Queen. pair. Yeah. Top board. Looks good. No Jack Tin is there. Just James has got the Broadway. And he's got a club redraw, which is always nice on a board. He's got top two on the bottom. Yeah, Just James has got a lot of this. Now he doesn't know he's behind the jacks. And uh, all the jacks are taken and almost all the ten. Yeah, just James praying for no board pair on the top. And unfortunately, exactly that happens. Mm. Brutal when you have a straight. Yeah, you got Broadway and it's not the club. And the club that you wanted came on the bottom. bottom. <laughs> he doesn't know he's chopping. He's getting three quarters. But um, no, I guess no, Carlos locked up the bottom with King Queen. I mean, with the, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we've got Broadway on both boards. Yeah, Kevin Y in a tough spot here with a set of jacks. Yeah. Makes the call. I'm going to make the call only because he's got so much at the top. Carlos is thinking. Not real sure why. But I guess obviously he's thinking about Chevy. Like, probably worried about getting three quartered himself. Yeah. Straights are, yeah. although it's less likely because the top board yeah. blocks and he jams. He jammed it. He was thinking about the jam. Kevin hates seeing this because now he's put yep. another 175 in the pot and this is 
not going to be an amount of money that he's going to want to call. Uh, but this is an $800 bet, pot limit. Kevin made the call? Yeah, I'm sorry, did he call? Yes, he did call. Wow. <laughs> and because he got a fold out of the other Jack-10, Kevin's going to take half of it. Wow. Wow. That came out as bad. Very lucky. And, and he doesn't know it because he doesn't know what right. uh, Just James folded. But, wow. Those wow. decisions in bomb pots can be the toughest of your whole night. You know, I think it helped him that, that James folded. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, he probably he does, lets I don't it go. Think, I mean, James he does obviously help yeah. He had enough of the top board with Broadway yeah. and enough of the bottom board with the Jacks that he just felt like he couldn't fold. The chances of the, and, 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 and all the card removal on that was incredible. Now, it was even more incredible when you think about just James's hand, but yeah. Uh, okay, so Kiwi says we should go with shells for Mel. Shells for Mel? Like, I just totally cooled him. He's like, it's never a bluff. I'm like, if you knew that you would have snapped off with, like, it's with, like, trick jacks. It's like, it's like, oh, James, it's like, oh, I know, I know. Like, you fucking pay something, you pay off I thought about doing a political. Punks for my sister. Okay. Who's not happy with her choice? Right. So. I thought about doing something. We won't talk about, about, talk about what I might say. Right. I thought about that, but I'm still looking for an idea. Yeah, he's literally like this top of his ring with like King Jack. I'll keep thinking on it. I've never been the biggest pranker because people tend to believe me and it almost goes too far. I do not have that problem. I've had to call people and tell them very serious news and then say, yeah, whatever. Stop. And I'm like, no, I'm dead serious. Unfortunately for Tillman here, he got his last remaining stack out there and the nines got there. Oh, actually, he rivers a straight. Oh, he did. So oh, he did. I didn't even. Was way behind on the flop. I actually saw his sixes and thought he had, uh, he was open-ended and then didn't realize the three hit. Wow. So instead, lucky run out there for Tillman. Very he was nice. way behind when the money went on, on well, the flop. Well, he needed a little bit of that. Yeah, sometimes you uh, you, for players, you need a hand like that just yeah. to kind of get you going. Oh, yeah, you can see you don't feel like you're completely smooth. I, I, I He's played so that. few hands. No, you I see three flop. Yes, has been. Played so pretty tight last year. Yeah, I mean, when was strategy positive. like that? Like yeah, sometimes when, when, when a hand like that can be just what gets you going. Like that can be just what gets you going. Ultimate top of your age. And as Kristen gets things going here, we'll remind you of the Poker Atlas Tour. Tournament poker players. Over one million dollars in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Cardhouse Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event, the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty, and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. I mean, because you're whining, complaining Boy, that about Houston it. Well, honestly, I think place I, I deserve He's my cool. job. He's throwing money at you. I, I just can't cool. wait just for the new Austin place. Austin place. Well, that it, it looks strategy. like Dallas, Las Colinas, Houston. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen the spring. Yeah, the spring location. The Las Colinas location is gorgeous. Yeah, I kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah, I'm very much with you in terms of excitement for the new location here in Austin. It's also about 400 yards closer to my house. It's so slightly up the roadway. 400 yards? Yeah, a whole 400. Thankfully, you can move across town. Yeah, you need to like cut as many words out as possible. That shot for Just James. Chase is going to call it. Backdoor hearts. He goes ahead. But the clubs are probably going to make it difficult for anybody to, unless James wants to be the aggressive one. 
He does have a, a club. So now he's got the gutter. He's got a double gutter. Yeah, double gutter, gutter with seven or the jack or any club. Yeah. Nice. Hey, what? Checkmate. Just James winning on a lot of semi bluffs so far tonight. Yeah, he's done that well. I totally forgot about the free roll. I think, I think. Uh, oh, that was always good to take those down. Sometimes if you have a huge, uh, Dude, it was horrible. I told you it was a huge horrible. draw, you can feel yeah, a little bit like I was you like, would have like liked to get more out of it. But then you have to remind yourself you didn't actually have a hand yet. <laughs> it's good to be scooping chips. Yes. Saturday, Saturday. Did you, oh, you joined, joined I table table at like 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, our 52nd <laughs> hand. Uh, Christian is still in the box, which I'm a little surprised. Oh, okay, so I guess the tournament is big enough tonight that where dealers are all taken up. Yeah, well, I guess one of us could volunteer to go out there and deal. Some guys <laughs> oh, they'll get Jesse in. Yeah, he's much better than me. I learned at our employee day, uh, employee Christmas party, but I dealt for about 15 minutes, and that was the ugliest 15 minutes of the year. Chase going to three bet the king queen here. Yes, we'll try to flop a set. We have not had someone flop a set with a lower pocket pair just yet. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very true. We are we are due. That's why. Instead, he gets uh, gets the king in his face. Yep. Yeah. And check check. Chase is going to play it deceptively here. He does have top pair and a strong kicker. I think if Still I think the big guess is there. Really really take the initiative really here. Yeah, yeah make seventy five dollar bet. See what that gets in. Chase maybe right playing a little more coy on the button. Yeah. What's I yeah. think the, week, the weekdays are hit or miss. So it's it's really scary card for Chase, Chase but that's good. well, he's got the queen, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so he's blocking the Yeah, he straight. does block the straight, but takes down a nice pot. The check on the flop, I think, uh, earned him another 75 bucks there. I agree. It's something I see a lot of players not do enough, probably, is they flop a strong hand. It's unlikely based on the, you know, the uh, configuration of the hand that your opponent would have much, and they go ahead and bet their hand and get a quick fold and win a small pot. Um, so there definitely is a lot to be said about um, doing exactly what Chase did right there. I agree. And again, this goes back to our conversation a month ago where we were talking about the players that are thinking about how can I be losing and the players that think about how often they're going to typically don't see recreational players that are worried about getting caught up with or are in fear of losing the hand abnormally. You don't see them making good value bets or making value checks or right. laying out the trap a little more deeply than just uh, flatting aces you know, or something like that. Um, yeah. The, these players, it's really good for everybody, including me, to watch and remind themselves. That, you know, Chase was in the position there. Um, he bets that hand and immediately gets a pull to a weaker hand. Right. And so giving at least the opportunity for a strong hand to get that into. And then when the straight kind of shows up, flushed it, still having enough, and you've got plenty of check on value so you can check them out. We're actually watching a perfect example right now. Yeah, so yes, actually checks his top pair and his strong kicker right here on the flop. Yeah. Give to all, this is almost the exact same hand. You got top, yep, with good kicker against a, uh, a middle pair. The disadvantage in this configuration, though, is yes, is not in position. It's a much better or easier way to get paid off. And he also was playing against a much tighter player. Yeah. Yeah, if you're in position and you can check that back, you can't be afraid. You know, sometimes you're going to get outdrawn, but a lot of times you're going to get more value out of your opponent. Right. So what are you telling us? Iowa for the win. Oh, he's rooting for Iowa. That's like. So I like going to Taco Bell, Kevin. You see him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the score? All of them. 
I'm not getting Who's the one here, the one on the Iowa's Strange, up. The one in Elgin, the one in All right, so Mel the looked at the TV. Uh, we were going to be nice and, the and quiet for her, and she looked at the TV. She couldn't see it. And they have some sort of VIP program, or you just... They do. They have a rewards program. And I, yeah. So, yeah, that's a good question to ask the, the, the basketball watchers here. Mulkey fan, yes or no? A Mulkey fan, the coach of, of LSU, Tim Mulkey. I, do you like her outfits? Do you like her attitude? She's got more attitude. She has a lot of attitude. Yeah. Huh? You Really? <coughs> Minute left, Albert says. I, She's a little bit of the, the women's basketball Bobby Knight to me. Bad colors in the, in the clothing and, and bad attitude in the press room. I'm not a huge press man. Who the fuck was he in the same place every day? Me. Oh, she's she's a stone cold killer on the court. I, I, I agree. We're just having a little discussion. Sorry, folks. You probably can't hear Mel, hear Mel but she's, we we're talking about Kim Mulkey, the coach at LSU. It looks like he's going to lose. 105 left, Albert says. 74 86. I was up. <laughs> Dividends, man. He uses my Kenny dividends. Albert imitation. That's a very high score. I'm not the yeah. most versed yeah. in college basketball. Well, these are scoring teams. But this is yeah. These are scoring teams. Very high scoring you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't see this in the South Carolina matchup. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty much a high scoring game last year too. I tell you what, I watch a lot more women's basketball these days than I do men's. Yeah, yeah. Most of the men's games bore me and are it's bad basketball much less NBA, so the crazy but role, the women's basketball is much more easy on the eyes to watch the, the flow of the game and the good defense. All right, hand number 55. We're two hours and 15 minutes into our show tonight. Still got a, quite a few of you out there. Love to hear some comments. What do you think of the game? Who are you pulling, pulling for in the basketball game? Kim Mulkey, suck or no suck? Mel likes women's basketball. Why? I think you're right. She's saying that there's there's a uh, little bit less above the rim play, so it's more technical. I agree with you. Yeah, absolutely. I like I like to see traditional offenses and and, and tradiv traditional defensive schemes. I like that. <laughs> I think the rivalry of Caitlin Clark and oh, yeah. uh, Angel Reese has yeah, brought so much life also to this tournament. I mean, it, the yeah. rematch. The is, butterfly uh, eyelashes against the no eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, both that, great players. Oh, but, fantastic yeah. players. I love both of them. Um, yeah, likewise, yeah. But they're, they are – cut from different cloth, worlds apart. But, you know, it was always, you know, that's one of the things I always liked about the old NBA is you'd have those Larry Bird, Country Boy versus uh, uh, Magic like Johnson, Showtime, Showtime Magic, kind yeah, yeah. of player, which you'd, you'd definitely say Angel is one of those, more of a Showtime um, in-your-face player. Um, so we've got Kings versus Queen Nine suited for Kevin. Kevin does have position, but... Haven't seen a lot of huge pocket pairs, and the nightmare flop of ace high when you have kings seems to happen. That's our joke. As you say, Uncle T, happens 95% of the time. That's right. 16% that the board has an ace on it, unless you have kings, then it's 95%. Just check, check. I'm, I'm a little surprised Yes is not betting. He's only fading the ace. Of course, if he, he's played a lot with Kevin, so... He probably knows that that's more Kevin's range for calling. Kevin's on the button, so I'm sorry, low jack. Makes the bet and gets a quick pull. Yeah, not much to talk about with Kings. Happy to take that one down after a side flop. Um, the the nerves there is you go ahead and bet the turn and then you get raised and you have no idea where you yeah, are. You have, yeah, yeah. You're in the dark. And you're facing the river bet or the likelihood of a river bet as well. Oh, 
highly likely. Show, show, show them. You know, got to set up that trust fund. Like Got the double straddle on. It looks like fifty dollars from Chase this hand. He's going to raise the stakes. Carlos has got some calling cards. And he leads out for one hundred twenty-five. Bertram just quickly folds Ace Jack. I don't actually blame him in that spot. He is out of position. Yes is definitely going to play ace queen from the button. Just how much is he going to raise? He's 350. And Till goes all in with ace king. Wow. Wow, what a so spot to wake up with ace king. Gone. Bones is gone. Chase obviously can't stick around with king deuce. Wow, this puts Carlos in the blender, but he's going to he's didn't take too much time. And once again, oh yes has the God. dominating oh, or the uh, dominated ace by Tillman. And last oh, time we saw say no till no to two. Say no to two. Let's see if Tillman can get some revenge. There's a clean board so far. Just has to fade the queen. The queen. Diamonds are not in play. Any. Phil gets half of it. Always a relief. I'm just trying to tilt you, yeah. And the king huge flop on the bottom for Tillman. He's, Tillman he's, way yeah, ahead. Now he's drawn dead, so. There's some good revenge from Tillman after yeah, a, a little bit somewhat slow night. <laughs> we'll see if that he's not uh, the most effusive pure person. He doesn't show a lot of emotions, but uh, I, I see a little bit of a lift, eyebrow lift. Yeah. That's the most you're going to get out of Till. Till is a little bit of an eyebrow smile. We were talking earlier about uh, some of the things that people uh, in the in the in the business of spotting uh, psychological tells. We were talking about some of the smiles with the mouth. And the eyes and the right, right. And with Till, you get uh, a little bit of a left eyebrow raise, but otherwise. Yeah, a little shrug, left eyebrow raise. Yeah, it's the same face regardless. That's he his won the version. lottery or he, you know, his dog <laughs> yeah. just got uh, bit by another dog. Hey, you from Ohio. Hey, you from Ohio. Hey, you from Ohio. Hey, what the heck, folks? You prefaced it, it makes it okay. I did. Rena gave, is that a thumbs down? It's either that or a, an upside down peach, I can't tell. Yes. Okay. It is yeah. Oh, it was abbreviated. Yes. Or uh, abridged, I should say. I didn't know what that sign was. Our screen, unfortunately the chat's a little small and it's sitting over by Kyle, so I have to lean way over and like, what am I looking at? Once again, we, we still have quite a few of you left. We'd like to get to 150 likes tonight if you enjoy our broadcast. And uh, we'd hit the like button. We'd appreciate it. I'm in here. This is Uncle T. And with the whammer, the whammo, my buddy Kyle. And we are at TCH Austin for the 2-5 live stream on a Monday night. Jesse joining the box now. Jesse is in the box. Like uh, somebody buying in for a little bit more, whose money is that? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's not worth it. Oh, Carlos is adding on. On he was like a cancer, catastrophic. Carlos came to play poker. He's uh, been he's mixed it up a bit. He's new to our stream, but unfortunately for him, in a lot of his spots where he's three betted uh, correctly from like a GTO standpoint, he's just uh, had an opponent were bet. So uh, it's been good to have him on stream, though. Yeah. Yeah, Carlos, if you watch this later on, sorry about the Angry Bird comment, <laughs> although I, I hold to it. And we've enjoyed having you on the stream. His friend Juan gave you a pass for yeah, that. It, so. Yeah, Juan said I could say that. So if it wasn't for Juan, I would have attracted it and I would have edited it out of the broadcast, <laughs> which I do not have the ability to do, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we have fun on our broadcasts. We do. Mel is always fun. Kyle, you're more fun than should be allowed legally. We're thinking about our buddy Dante tonight. And we always love when he's in the booth. He covered for me last week. <coughs> that top set here for Kevin on the top board. Yeah, Kevin's Couple got of spades. Tees. Don't see the spades as, as a draw for anybody. And nobody with spades. Just a naked ace for Bones on the bottom board. Is about. Oh, we do have an open ender. Am I seeing an open ender? Nine eight. No, that's yes. Nine eight open ender for Chase. And the, the spades did show up from yes. He actually has open spades. ender on both boards. Although and actually, it's, it's nut spades for yes, even though it's only yeah. queen high, as the ace and the king are on each board. Oh, we do have spades. Yes, I mean now he has a, a trips. So with the ace kicker, got to feel a little bit better with the board hitting his card. But top boat for Kevin. Yep, that's that's the end of the, the line, unfortunately. Yeah, he is in extraction mode. And everybody checks. Kevin checks the line. Interesting. Check back there. He knows the sixes and the quads. He didn't have to worry about quads with six on the bottom board. And the three, so the run out was just that uh, Chase got nothing out of that. He didn't get clubs. He didn't get his straights, which were open ended on both boards. And now he's facing pairs. So his equity is exactly what it appears to be. He's looking at his cards, trying to make something of it, but <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. I, I've, I've known the feeling where you. you and and I, frankly, th this value bet by Kevin. You know, $175, whatever it is, $185. I don't know if Yes can. Oh, he does make the call. With a six, he's making wow. the call. I guess because he had so much of the top board, he felt better. Just a chop. Wow. <clears throat> Devin with a good run in bomb pots tonight. He's either chopped or yeah. won. So. Yeah. yeah. If you're if you're yeah. playing bomb pots, if you're chopping or winning, that or scooping, I should say, yeah, or folding you're, um, and chopping and winning, right? You're, you're just very happy with this, that. The scoop going the other way, that's the main thing. Or being the stupid money in the pot, the dead money. That's the hardest thing when you realize that the that the fish in the bucket is you. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's the worst. It 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 happens um, to the best of us. Saw the winnings there, so Tillman actually putting on a bit of a clinic in patience. He's actually up almost $500 after yeah. having a pretty rough night in terms of yeah. his pre-flop holdings and some of the runouts. Yep, grinding it out to, well, if you play cash with Till, you know he's got a very good win rate. So yeah. it's not real surprising player. for those of us to play with him as, as he wakes up at Kings. And Chase and Bertram pretty much. Chase folded the days ten of spades. I can't imagine that was correct. And so it's till oh till till shuffle. Till I just jammed the kings. <laughs> <laughs> um, a little bit of a curious move. Um, oh, oh, till <laughs> we were just saying nice things about you. you yeah, the, you know the the uh, only. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try to defend the move a little bit here. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm very, and very much cued into this. <laughs> the, Please, go ahead. The, the only way is if it looks so reckless and over Betty that if you think you have an opponent that is going to be like, well, the only way he would do that is if he has ace. Because a lot of people will do that because they're afraid to play ace-king post-flop. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can get a call from jacks, queens, you know, uh, something like that. Um, but, yeah, in general... Um, you you wouldn't want to yeah, overplay a, a big pair like now, that and get so, not so the most value. I, I get it. Um, I get it from yeah. a from a turn standpoint or a flop standpoint. Pre-flop, not so much. Yeah, I, I had my kings run down by a friend of mine, TJ, that that played a horrible hand and called three three bets: pre-flop, flop, and turn, um, and chased me down with runner runner. And I had to remind him of the hand. He didn't even rem remember it two hours later. Um, I get it that you you could be a little bit fearful. The, the but one pre-flop, right? Mm. Well, and the, the the other factor I didn't mention is, is 
I've seen that work with folks who have an extremely loose, aggressive image. And Tillman, as he makes trip kings now, I'm sorry, I thought yeah, Tillman had yeah, he's got a king boat. queen. <laughs> Chase, Chase has the boat. boat. Yeah, no, not Tillman. I thought I had seen a king yeah. queen out there for some reason. And it, you know, the ace is is so in the blender here. Yeah, full pot size bet. So like, did I really lose to the runner? Much less to the boat. He was bad on the turn. Another good size pot. I don't know how much history that Yes has with Chase. Um, um, that, probably not much. Um, you know, I don't know what Chase is outside of TCH. Uh, what he does, but um, Yes is not here playing cash. So I've only seen him on the stream maybe once or twice playing cash. Maybe wrong about that. Looks like he's leaning toward getting away. We have seen him make some big calls on rivers um, in previous streams. And that, that this may be a little bit of an overthink on his part. I mean, because the king is in the range of your pre-flop caller. So he yeah, gets rid of it. Yeah, he just probably just wanted to run through his process in his mind, which I get. There were two diamonds that would have bricked out, so possibly yep. he could come up with a reason to call there if yep. he thinks Chase has missed diamonds. Again, yes, is a good player, and he's going to run through how many times yeah. my head here is both on his own behind. And, you know, he, he probably got to about, you know, 10 hands to 12 hands to beat him in the left. You know. Nice hand for Chase. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I have a nice hand. I think a little banter there between Chase and Yes at the moment. Hopefully, y'all can hear it. I've heard stories of like. I, did you hear what they said? No, I couldn't hear it. Never bluff. That's what I was telling. That's what I was telling myself. Never bluff. I'm kidding. Oh my god. How does the margin like that little rainbow coming on my arm? Yeah. You should get that tattooed, man. Right. Well, I just never yeah, do on your knuckles, <laughs> it's never a block. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like 17 fingers. Finally, some aces. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, is this, is, is this literally the first <laughs> This is the aces first aces on I, hand 61. Yeah. I've, I've been to hand 90 with no aces before, but this is, I think, the second longest I can recall. Yeah, amazing that you need to track that. <laughs> Kevin going to raise it up. Bertram with just king queen. He's played relatively snugly here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been, he's been, but Bertram is a, he's, he's such a solid player. He doesn't get out wide. Yeah, yeah got to let the king queen go there. I bet the mortgage on that fold. Kevin is never shows you. I mean, I'm disgusted at not getting a caller, and I flop him over and go, dang yeah. it. What do he's, you need? He, it's such a he's perfectly happy with the table thinking he just squeezed there and yes. took the money down. Yeah. That's so um, smart. Hey, yeah. It's irritating how smart it is. It, it is. It, it's yeah. not me. Right. Yeah, he won't let you have the little sigh of relief of like, oh, okay, I got away there, and I was good. He wasn't yeah, squeezing. He had aces. Yeah, he's not going to give you the satisfaction yeah. of good fold. Right. He won't even tell you good fold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the most I've gotten from Kevin is when I've crushed him, you know, like absolutely cruelly. No, no ability of my own or no fault of his own. I get the little two-tapping fist. <laughs> oh, yeah, the little, the little yeah. bump on the table, like nice hand. That's the most I've gotten out of it. The uh, the most I've ever gotten out of Kevin was, unfortunately, I was on the opposite side of it. I was uh, bluffing. And uh, he called me, and I'll spare the whole details with the hand. It would take too long. But basically, there was a lot of reasons why. Um, I, I, why <laughs> Yeah, why it was a decent bluff. Yeah. And uh, I, I just said, not angrily, but I just said, how did you how did you call there? And he said, this was the, I think the compliment was, I knew you were capable. It's like, okay, I'll take that. Interesting. <laughs> I knew you were That's capable nice of the bluff. I, I knew you were capable of that yeah. kind of a move. Wow. So, I'm not sure if he thought that was a compliment or if it actually was or not, but I, I'm taking it that way. Hmm. That's interesting. Bro, I may have put that in my repertoire. I don't like I knew you were capable. Too much credit here, but but I may have to say that because I you, I get that a lot. I, you know I can be sticky and it, it can cost me. And there was a hand yesterday. Said, you, know, you get that. 
how do you call there? Or they'll say, that's a terrible call. You know, and that one I actually like. It's a, it's a, it's a terrible call. Um, and they say, most of the time when somebody says, how do you call there? I say, I don't know. <laughs> I give them the, give them the Rain Man answer. Um, $100. Five minutes to walk. Um, but I actually like that better. Well, yeah. <laughs> well I, I shouldn't say this on stream, but I will anyway. The, the one comment that I always take as a middle boy is uh, nice catch. So, you're, you, you know, you had an say a huge draw, you know, combo draw, flush, straight. Well, I, I've got you know, one that I always throw back. You get there, and, and they say nice people. catch, yeah. and that's that's like, oh, you just got lucky to, yeah. against me. You yeah, know, you're a luck that, box. Yeah. Right, right. I, I always I have a response for that, and they don't always get it. They'll say, nice catch. I said, yeah, that was nice throw on you. Why is that? Because, like, it's so You know, in other words, you threw your money at me. Yeah. You know, it kind of throws it back at them. Yeah, yeah. But most of the time, they just look at you like, I didn't throw it. You know, because nice catch is such a cliche. Or maybe you could say, thanks for the good odds to draw. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've got Bertram and Chase. Chase has a pair of trays. Bertram with middle pair. Second pair. Chase will actually bet and win it. It's rewarded for his aggression. And 64. Carlos, with his suited ace, is going to raise from the button. Chase will call with the 8-5 offsuit. Way behind here. Carlos will flop top pair. And we'll bet and take it. And Tracy in chat. Let us know Iowa has won. Mel scolding me for the uh, spoiler, but I assume most folks watching in real time. I, I would have liked to rewatch it, but there's a plenty of information going around around here at TCH, so it was impossible to avoid. Tillman gonna raise up ace queen. Bertram will make the call. Set mining with his deuces. Chase in there with the ace five. No set for Bertram, but the deuces are still going to be good on eight four four. Yeah, Blake was like, "Miss, he was like chowing down." Yeah, this is good, good fish, good fish. This is a good stuff, fresh. Him smoking a cigarette or eating with chopsticks. Six on the turn. Smoking down with the chopsticks. Changes nothing. Bertram still ahead. Inhale it. Yeah. But no, he was like, he was like, yeah. She said she just got it this morning. And finally, a set. Bertram makes a boat on the river with the deuce. Unfortunately for him, Chase with nothing to play back at him with. Just for a moment. Just stays high. 
How many months? Could be a bet from Bertram, and I imagine a quick fold from Chase. No, no, Gary. No, Chase, I was for sure. Bertram takes it down. You're going to be like, Chase is going to raise it up with his clean nine offsuit. Carlos in the hijack with ace queen just makes the call. Swiddle beat Chase and Carlos heads up. Carlos way ahead with the ace queen. There's no way. You're like eating ribeye every day. King high flop. No pairs for either player. Goes check check. King on the turn does bring in spades. Neither player with the spade. You'd be surprised actually. When I stopped eating meat, it's like you don't realize how you you consume meat with every single meal. That's true. And Pretty eggs, much. And, and cheese. So yes. I, I had to find something that I like. Chase going to keep telling the story. Carlos actually with the best it's hand here with just <laughs> his ace queen high, but like a, a lot of pressure from <laughs> Chase. Like that, That's it's like, it's like, it's than it's half the pot. It's way than it's half. But it is like, you will, you will like realize like how much you eat meat. Yeah. Every single day. Dude, I realize it now, like, when I'm like, I can't remember the last time I had a vegan there. I'm eating, like, I want to see something every day. You know, like, every meal. Like, 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 no, Carlos already, knows that he does make the call. Great call from Carlos. Just the ace, queen, high, nice pot. Juan in chat says uh, yeah. <laughs> Angry Bird could make this call. He did indeed. Nice, nice yeah. call. Hey James, you want to switch from Carlos? Yeah. What's wrong with that? I just want it from. Uh, yeah, I want Kevin. the Kevin twenty. <laughs> 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 I give you the soggy twenty. That's stupid. <laughs> I want the Kevin twenty. All right. Yeah. And now, now bread. I'll pretend in my mind like uh, I'm eating I don't know. Real. It's, I, I don't know. It just know. sounds like a, a recipe for diarrhea. Isn't it like, yeah. isn't it only meat? I don't even think eggs and cheese like They do say actually when you get a crumb about this two or four months. That's what I like. I know. It's just like bad diarrhea. I can still see them as well. I'm cleaning that just a little bit. Hello. Two cameras. Two cameras. So yes is going to raise up the ace deuce suited and Chase actually calls with eight three of spades as well. As well meaning the spades. Be a disaster for Chase to make a flush here versus yes's ace deuce but Bertram has ace queen and he is going to stuff it goes all in and I imagine this will be a quick fold from Chase you know there's a guy on YouTube who ate nothing but Taco Bell for like two months and lost 15 pounds I'm sure he just shit himself right to death yeah you know refugees from campus Chase lets it go nice win from Bertram with ace queen Profits himself 500 bucks. Doubt happened to see a flop. That makes him our third biggest winner of the night so far, up of about 1.1K. He, Daniel, and Kevin all up over $1,000. Chase is going to put the $50 straddle on, as he did last time. He does actually have a playable hand, so it'll be interesting. He has the ace nine of clubs. Tillman gonna raise up 
Ace place. five sous vide. <laughs> see what Chase does here. Makes the call. Uh -uh. I like 200 to the flop. V is good. V is good, but it's like, you know, it's like not my style. Yeah, it's not pizza my that's, you know, it's And spades here yeah, for yeah, Tillman. Yeah, yeah. I usually don't like that, but I think they just do it really well. Yeah. King Jack 6, two spades. Yeah, I usually like the New York. <laughs> Tillman will bet and take it down. I think he smiled. We got the smile that time. Yeah, we you, you win a few video pots and the smile right comes right, right back. Walmart. Yeah. He was either that or he was a little gassy. I don't know. <laughs> you know that's what they say about babies when they smile. This is gas. <laughs> you, do. <laughs> you don't have any babies, do you? You may not know. That. Well, I've I've had one, but yes, I. You've had no, a baby? I've, oh yeah. How was that? Was it painful? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. You gotta... Oh, you wouldn't. I thought he ate half. I went to this Italian spot last night. Do you want to tell everyone about Ladies' Night? That is every Friday here. My cool and gay invitation at this point. Ladies' Night. Fifty percent off all for all ladies. So fifty percent off your time as you play. Oh, what a night! Yeah, I've seen that. I don't like that spot. I've been to the. I never been to that one, but I've been to the one in the domain. And my girlfriend realized it's the exact same. So come see us if you're a lady, or not on Fridays. But fifty percent off for ladies on Fridays. Every Friday. There's so many bad jokes I could make at this point. I'm not going to do any of them. I would suggest uh, that because if you get in your head. <laughs> <laughs> we live in Austin. <laughs> <laughs> they might make it for you. It's called what now? Uh, number 28. Just James ahead here with his ace 10. Yeah, really good. Good priced wine. You know, the atmosphere We've seen a like lot of these like suited the wall, like good aces. Yeah. The tables played them pretty aggressively. Bones, obviously. Uh, yeah, service was very great too. Like, and we're different players thinking came about. Like yep. <laughs> you know, Bones ago. makes so many go good folds. <laughs> when, you, when you watch him play, he makes so many good folds. <laughs> uh, most recreational players <laughs> play that time. <laughs> you, you hardly ever see Bones put money in the top <laughs> if he's uh, <laughs> got very low equity. <laughs> but, really you know, with these good players, they think about card money. Okay, what am I up against? And what does it do to my hand? So they think about those things. Thank you. Way of looking at uh, what, what your realistic odds are. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're like the range of your opponent, depending <laughs> on where they are, yep. where this what they raise, if they, they just black call. <laughs> yeah. And I've, what I've noticed with Bones is he can run through those. Doesn't take him long to figure out what he needs to do. Chase wakes up with chickadees. Chase finally with a hand. Yeah, no, He's I been got, playing 8-5 uh, offsuit. Finally deal. has something. Uh, oh, yeah. Pre-flopping yeah. gets the nightmare. How many flop. spade flops have we had when people you know, with that so space in their hands? Yeah, oh, Carlos. I was like, I'm going to think about this chicken farm. Unfortunately, the ace king is going to be Now, Chase is going to keep. You probably had some pretty good Keep betting here is actually ahead. Unfortunately, the gut also comes in for Carlos. So he's Goombas, more those Goombas out in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with that. You know what's like surprisingly good? There's this place in Elgin that. Uh, $150 like, bet in the. Like he just kind of sticks it in. Wow. wow. <laughs> like, let me tell you, like this this is impossible for Chase to call. Craziest, craziest food yeah, he loses to everything. He, uh, yeah, there's um, no hands that he beats. Except for what Carlos has. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Carlos has. 11 out, so um, a great move by Carlos. Great move by Carlos. I don't know what he put Chase on, but maybe it was just a hand. Oh, he called. He called. Oh, wow. He made the call. He showed his hand and then wow. called. Oh, my god. Carlos gosh. is going to have to hit a queen to a chop. A spade or a queen. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, there's what the call of the by night. Chase wow. and Carlos. I How mean, does he, so here we go. How does he make that call? <laughs> Just what we were talking about, the thing you don't want to hear from somebody. Is that you make that, that is unbelievable. Well, 
you know. <laughs> I would say that's hand of the night so far. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I thought that was a really good move. I was thinking, what was Carlos putting Chase on? Uh, maybe he was repping these King on the stage. And Carlos is sitting there thinking, how on earth did he call that? Yeah. Um, wow. $2,000 pot. Yeah, wow. What a call by Chase. Unbelievable. Well, you, I, you know, I, this is where I like I like both plays. I love the call. Obviously, that was a stone cold badass call, but it was a pretty damn good bet. Oh, yeah. I mean, it absolutely considering it takes some Chase guts had. to do what Carlos did, for sure. That's what makes it. Yeah, Juan says that's what make it, makes the Angry Bird so dangerous. And that was, wow. <laughs> and uh, Skull Mike, Skull Mike is like Chase does not give a, a uh, chocolate like dessert. You can also right. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, great call by Chase there. Oh, and he doesn't if you play with Chase. You know that he doesn't. Yeah. Uh, actually, I actually stole a line from Chase one night. This guy got irritated with him. And I get it. And the guy said it's, uh, something to the order of I, that was a stupid call. It was beyond just a, you know, how do you call that? <laughs> and, he, and then he said, I don't see how you did that. And he goes, well, it's my money. Yeah, yeah I th and I've always used the best that. Answer. I used that the other day when somebody said, how do you make that call? I was like, well, it's my money. Right. And I love that because it's just a subtle way of saying, you see, I walked in here thinking this money is already gone, and so I'm not going to play a phrase. Yep. <laughs> I love freaking love it. <laughs> it's also a true statement. If you, um, When you play poker, it's your money. You can choose to play as... <laughs> GTO as you want, or you can. Well, I, that, you know, I always tell Chase, he's my favorite use. person at the table that I'm, you know, when I'm not a hand. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's not always fun being in the middle. Literally, like where it's just like grassy hills. You just like, oh, there's this Michigan star crazy. All right, well, we've got our hand of the night came almost three hours into our broadcast. I say broadcast like I'm in the freaking fifties. Don't change your it radio. It sounds so top. official. There's nothing yeah, wrong well, with the uh, broadcast. Yeah, what do you want? As Got a couple uh, five fours here. Both Bones suited. stifles a yawn. Bones, we're doing our best. Buddy. Chase with the heat check with 10 6 suited. Does flop a six. Catch is a piece. Which is all he generally needs. <laughs> Actually has him way out in oh, front yeah. with just bottom pair. Yeah. yeah. Versus these five fours. Backdoor straight draws. And that's about it. And of course, he's got two. You know, or uh, backdoor straight draws. Well. Yeah, it's it's hard playing against Chase. It's fun. Yeah, um, I have, I agree. But uh, it, it is hard. Nine of hearts on the turn. Daniel actually hanging in there with Chase. I'm certainly hoping for a yeah. backdoor club draw that did not come. Yeah, I mean, don't, you know, maybe he's thinking about not thinking about the cards, thinking about his move here, and he is going to make it. <laughs> if Chase does this twice in a row, <laughs> oh my goodness, he's going to race and win another one. Yeah. Um, well, consider the heat check confirmed because Chase is on a roll, folks. Yeah, he is. He's not. He's not feeling very, uh, very vulnerable to bullets right now. He's he's feeling pretty invulnerable. And he'll get on a heater too, and he will wear you out with yeah. a heater. Well, when a when a player that like plays a his style right gets on a heater, which happens to everyone. Yeah. They can really spin it up, and Tillman has the Cowboys here. <laughs> Till's gotten those a couple of times. Last time he played it in a yeah, uh, unconventional he jammed, he jammed fashion. Free flop. Yeah, yeah. In the, what, $120 I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it. I'm getting on the board of strategy talk here. You know, I'm getting on this. This time he makes a more reasonable $35 raise. 
Unfortunately, is it Again. Yeah. Wow. He he's, just he's, he's definitely set the record for the least amount of value out of, out of Kings <laughs> in, a, <laughs> in a session. Uh, t Tillman, we love you, but um, what Uncle T said is so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Chase is chasing the chips. Chase is chasing the chips. Chase is chasing the chips. Chase is Throw his oh, pink yeah. slip up for the car on the table. I've seen him straddle 13 here, bro. And then call it Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he got one big one at that point. He got a great card. All right, folks. Um, great to have you tonight. We're coming up on our last hour of play. My buddy, Kyle DeWamo. This is Uncle T, TCH Austin. Good session tonight. A lot of really interesting hands to analyze. A lot of hands that were just fun. And a couple of bomb pots that were nuclear. As Kevin shows up at Kings, you black Kings. Bones with a pretty out of range speculative ace. Yeah, yeah. Although he nails it. And <laughs> he's good against the Kings. Well, yeah, way out in no front team. now. Till also <laughs> hits his <laughs> gun. It's good to know you're, you're diamonds. driving the action. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what Kevin does here. He knows he only has to play the ace. This is tough like, because oh Barnes knows that again. Kevin yeah. would be seabedding yeah. there. Yeah. This is with a wide range. Ace, ace 10 up. Yeah. Keep calling down, man. Pedaling the nuts. Although Kevin could put Bones on, there's a lot of draws that Bones could have here. He could have hearts, he could have some type of Broadway draw. Yeah, these are two pretty brainy players thinking about opponent's uh, ranges. Heads up like yours. this. <laughs> At the same time, Bones knows Kevin does have a bigger ace a good percentage of the time, so doesn't think about it too long. Looks like he's going to go ahead and call. As we were saying, Bones doesn't put the put money in the pot very often when he's behind. It's a little protection here, a little bit. Now, now this, yeah, I knew Kevin was going to check, check back because there's too many yeah. tens that he has. Wow, that that's another one of those hands where I'm a little surprised at the way it played out. But, you know, Kevin stayed with his line on the turn there, and without again, if you, if you know Bones, he's an analytical player. He's already thinking about what the bet's going to be and what he's what he's going to do. What he puts the other player on, what the ranges are, and he makes his decisions based on those. So he doesn't take a lot of time to make good decisions. As I'm right. always most impressed with a poker player that does not take a lot of time to make good decisions. So right. Yeah. Accurate. We can all tank. I mean, you know. I got two cats at home that tank really well. You know. <laughs> they would have been about everything, especially about getting out of the way. But. To, to make a, a good decision, you see consistent good decision making and fast, it's always impressive. Yeah, nicely played there by Bones. I think a lot of folks get away from Ace Deuce there thinking they're and probably well, out they should in most cases. In most cases, yeah. yeah you know, it. Um, to the, to the preflop razor? Two great players. It, it would have been really interesting to see if Kevin had gone full pot on the river there, what Bones would have done if he could have called. One more time. So yeah, both players hit their danglers. Just James hits his harder. Uh, once or twice. Wow, Chase. Twice. Did he jam? Jams. And he snap, got snapped. Oh, got run snapped it twice, but it won't make a difference. Wow. 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 Finally gets That's caught. It. Thank you. The chase taketh and then chase giveth away. Yeah, picked the wrong time to put max yeah, pressure had, on there. The, 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 you know, the 2 5 live stream a couple of weeks ago, I had that happen to me. Could not put Barber on a six. Very similar board. 
with my overpair. Could not put him on. And yeah, I, I'm not sure what Chase could have thought that James had there. It wasn't a draw heavy board. Um, maybe he just thought that he couldn't, you know, call under that kind of pressure. But talk about Chase's. Thought yeah, Chase, Chase. Yeah, when Chase jammed just now. I mean, yeah, I guess he's representing a six, which is exactly what yeah. just James had. But you know, the the thing is, it's so binary. Yeah. It was a big overbet jam compared to the pot. I mean, you're only getting called if you're way yeah. wrong. Yeah. I had, um, a, had a had a recreational player ask me the other day, fairly new player at the tournament, about uh, whether I thought his jam was a good jam. And I said, first of all, don't ask both advice because it's worth every penny you're paying for it, okay? <laughs> Don't ask, right. and you'll get too many bad answers. And, but he said, no, I really want to know. And I said, in that case, you're only getting called by worse hands. Yeah. Or better hands, sorry. Your hand is, it, you'll, you'll, you'll be, well, what, so what was your point in doing it? Right, yeah. Yeah, you always have were, to were think about you try to push somebody out of the hand when you thought you were ahead? <laughs> One second. Chase has just jammed oh. aces. Oh my gosh. And Daniel's thinking he's on tilt. Oh and my gosh. Maybe considering calling with just King 5 suit. This is the beauty of Chase. This is the beauty of it. I'm going to leave it at I want to call. Okay. And he just looked at him and said, Do you want to call? And he showed him what he has, King 5. Do you want to, you know, do you think I should call? I'll take it as well. And he's going to fold and hate it. Wow. Yeah, I think. So going back to the example. Then he shows the aces. <laughs> this is, how do you not love somebody like that? And enjoy the heck out of it. Love it. He said, and, and actually, that's, that's such a great example of when um, Tillman went all in with the Kings. If you have the image Chase does, sometimes you can just stick it in there, pretend like it's a tilt jam, and get called by, um, you know, get called much lighter. But um, unfortunately... Just yeah, James. And, and, and the great thing about Chase is he's going to be driving home tonight to explain to the wife how you know, she asked how he did. <laughs> and he's going to, well, yeah, I did fine, whatever. You know what it was really cool, though? I jammed on this guy. Da, 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 da. He, this will be his hat. Right, right. He, he cares more about that than you know, lost a hand. Yes, now with the yeah. real hands. The, well, we started off the, the show by talking about how much fun it was going to be when Chase was on, on the table. He is he not disappointed, there's delivers. no doubt. He delivers. Let's see if Chase can flop a set. We haven't had... Oh, I, it looks like he's grabbing raisin chips. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, as Once Jack's here. at the top of his range. I do love the fact that he's sitting right next to probably um, the most serious player right. at the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you couldn't have more well, different more players sitting those, next to each other. In that yeah. proximity, that geography. Yeah. So they do get it all in, <laughs> as we could have. <laughs> yes, unfortunately for Chase. If yes had what ace king, three, it, looks, row, it doesn't right? look that bad. But I have three a weird feeling. Row. Chase is all in. I have a weird feeling Chase will get a three here. Two boards. Jack's hold on the top board. No three yet. <laughs> Jesse gives him Jesse gave him the, the slow turn. Yeah, yeah. No, no luck there for Chase. Chase. Great pot there for yes, over twenty five hundred dollars. Chase uh, laughs at jamming his aces and doesn't win anything and smiles all the way to the bank. Yes. Takes a big pot. Yeah, thanks for that info. He looks like uh, somebody shot his dog. Come on, yes. Let it. Let let a little bit of that happiness out. I I played with yes recently. He's yeah. kind of a more serious player, but yeah. really fun guy to chat with. Um, yeah, he's a good guy. Show a little emotion though. Show a little emotion. <laughs> Tip your dealer and smile. Come on to a bomb pot. <laughs> While Jesse gets that bomb pot prepared, we'll remind you of the Poker Atlas Tour. Tournament Poker Players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Cardhouse Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event.
The $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today. All right, folks, hand 78. Leon Lett's hand. Comment in the chat. We've enjoyed it tonight. Obviously, we enjoyed the last 15 minutes. Um, you know, I hate to see that empty seat, that's for sure. Just James with top set of aces on the top board. Let's see if anybody has a jack here, and that would be yes. Yes, has a jack, no friend, unless his mystery card is a five or a six. It's like we get the new player sitting down in seat one. Can't see who it is yet. Rip jacks and the set of aces. No, no board pair for the set of aces. But those traits are there as well. Oh, so Carlos did flop yeah. a boat with his sixes. Yeah, sixes full of jacks. Not too much you can make a big deal out of. Yeah, it depends on, yes, maybe behind here, unless his mystery card is a five, six, or seven. Fortunately, yeah, for he bets 320, so um, he's, it's got to be a straight on that top board. That's what we're guessing, folks. Well, Jack 8 is straight. I'm sorry. Jack 8 is the nut straight. So he's got the nuts on the top board. Yes, does. Yes, might have a scooper, possibly, yeah. unless Carlos. If he's got is still Jack good six, here. five or seven. A lot of six is obviously not there. Carlos is like, what the frick? Yeah, Carlos has had a decent number of tough decisions tonight. Yeah, well, this uh, is this is the problem. You get beat by, yeah. you know, obviously, there's another seven on the other board. It's unlikely that the opponent has seven. Yeah, he's probably he most beat, worried about. He gets beat by jack five, jack seven. Yeah, and lets, it, lets it go. Probably not going to be happy to see what wins the bottom board. Unless the mystery card is a big one. Like cards have been tabled are when one hand doesn't read a card, we don't see the equities until the very end here, but it looks like that is gonna be a the queen, queen scooper for yes. Yeah, queen queen. Okay. Ah. Okay. No, that didn't have much of an effect. But Jack Queen, he did have open ended on the top board, so all right. Now yes on a heater. Putting together a nice session. You're not a net. You're not a net. Certainly does not come easily. By the way, folks. Uh, Pocket there. Wait, what? Oh yeah. In between hands here. Um, just like to remind everybody, TCH Austin Monday night has a tournament that's going really. Well outside, saw a couple of my friends, $2,000 guaranteed, no limit hold'em. No Starting stack with rebuys and add-ons, which is very popular since we picked that in. I love that tournament. It's the only bad thing about doing this live stream. You know, yeah, it's a, it's it's a really fun tournament, tournament and a great value. Um, a even, even if you're a little bit higher stakes player, you can still win, you know, many times, 1000 bucks for first place. You yeah. Know, it, Yep. It's a one-night tournament, so a lot, uh, always a good time. Yeah, and get you home at a decent hour. Those uh, larger tournaments, sometimes I bemoan the fact that I can't do them because I can't make the time commitment. You sit down and have a good time. And if you're a newer player, there's no better time to uh, practice your poker and yeah, absolutely. work on your game. 
Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, for, absolutely. For a very, very, very low cost. If, if you've not played at TCH and you see these guys playing for thousands of dollars, that is not the only option. You can come <laughs> play for $20 on Monday night. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Skittle Josh flops. Like yeah, we, we we lost a good one in Chase, and we gained Mosquito, <laughs> and he flies a boat his first hand. Wow, that's yeah, the table, table, Josh. Seven on the turn would be disastrous. Uh, actually, Tillman got out of there. So Bones in a tough spot here with Trip Deuces. Mosquito going to play it slow. I tell you what, you, it's not. It couldn't be a better check if you knew what Bones had. I mean, obviously he doesn't, but Bones is going to come big for five hundred dollars. Josh is like, oh, he's, he's doing that. Do, is, is this a little bit of a of a of a nit? Or he, he's trying to figure out how he's going to get all the money in the pot. More well, didn't you, didn't he's doing a good job pretending like he has a tough decision. Little quick, well, I feel like a little bit yeah, yeah, quick of a call. I might have, I might have counted to 30 yeah, in my head. Had on that one. <laughs> wow, he checks the river to Bones. He's going to get max value out of Bones. I don't know. I, Bones is so smart. I, I, he may check this back and think, you know what? Yeah. He stuffs it. And Mosquito's going to get the oh, full yeah. double. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. He sits down and wins a $4,000 pot, folks. Oh, my gosh. That's wow. unbelievable. You know what? We were just talking about, I think I cursed him by saying that, that, that it's almost impossible. <laughs> right. I mean, I've seen the, it done, but it's, it's like. Well, the, the river check is. Uh, Boy. It's, wait, it, most people don't have that check because they're, they're like, well, I've slow played as much as I can. Now I have to get money in. And the river check is what got Josh the full double there. Yeah, but again, we play with Josh. He's got enough game that we know that he's yeah. probably thought about that. What am I going to do in the river now? Right. Yeah. I'm only getting beat by Queens. Never has he got Queens here, ever. I hope he has ace deuce. It's good to be Heck, Josh. I hope he has deuce jack. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, sit that, down that to a boat a and get pot. the full double. Uh, I think that was the largest pot we've had. I think so. Uh, well, Josh, it, I'm not saying you should go south or anything, but I might be tempted to say, all right, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not, <laughs> thank you, you know, Detroit. Good night. I, I, I've uh, pretended to do it. Actually, speaking of April Fools, I guess this wouldn't be a great example, but I've, I've won a huge first pot like that and been like, all right, let me go get some racks. Of course I don't, <laughs> but just to, just to pull the yeah. whole table like yeah, just make you know that you were yeah. you just won a huge pot and this guy's just gonna rack up. Yeah, we've got a player here in, in, in the room that everybody loves because he's a character, but he'll win a big pot usually bomb pot and then disappear for twenty minutes. <laughs> and um, if he knew what the table was saying about him while he was gone, he probably wouldn't come back. It's funny. Josh still stacking chips. Always a good thing when it's the next hand and you're still stacking. Yeah. Yeah, it's really great when it's the two hands later. <laughs> I had a three hands later you recently. Had a th you had, you've yeah. had a three hand. Yeah. yeah. It, it, actually, it was the aforementioned the time that a hand held the aces. Yeah. Yeah, that took about three hands. Took to about get, three hands yeah. to <laughs> put that one together. Well, I've never been somebody that spends a lot of time stacking my chips. You know, I, I try to be fast. I, you know, there yeah. we got pl friends. I have friends like Billy that like to when have the very really artistic, architectural you know, design you know, built into their chips. Uh, Mine not so much. Seven. I mainly want them out of the way and mm -hmm. not too tall where they fall over. But um, well, really yeah, it's a good feeling when you're like. Sorry, folks. I know I'm slowing the game down, but I've just got this. I, I have too many chips, folks. I chips apologize. Front, yeah, somebody dump truck the chips on my spot here. What's the biggest comeback? Yeah, we just showed the leaderboard. I think Mosquito has played well now about three hands, but he's, I think, second in the leaderboard in winnings. Joseph? What on earth, he says, are these little, these, these nitty, nitty folds about? Joseph, I don't know. Have you been with us for this whole stream? <laughs> I don't um, think. We've had I a couple of imagine. slightly nitty folds, but this is. Yeah. 
guess as middle pair, Josh had with a really pair of five. Great calls is what we did. Had some really great calls. Had um, <laughs> the river check by Josh. It's like there's more action. It's less stop start. Well, we were promoting. Aces not showing up. <laughs> who, who needs aces when you have yeah, exactly. King Deuce versus Jax? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. King Deuce versus Jax. And I, I don't even remember what uh, Jack eight of spades versus um, uh, ten six. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> who needs aces? Aces are boring. What music are you talking about? I've seen you uh, play the Dirty Diaper so many times. I remember like when I first added yeah. you, I was like, what is this music? <laughs> it's always in your head when you play him. Yeah. Is this the oh, Dirty yeah. Diaper? Jo am Josh I going to have to, you know, am I going to fold my tins and mm -hmm. just roll over that stinky Dirty Diaper? I played with Josh last week, and we had a we had a good time. He's always fun to play with. Yeah, I like him. He's fun. He's interesting. I I, t I tell this table sometimes. You guys are like playing with the funeral directors convention. You know, he's never done. Bones here with trip aces and a flush draw that he doesn't need against mosquito. Looks like he might get a small rebate here. <laughs> I thought it was From the aforementioned it hand. Let's see what Bones does here. He might overbet. Is he barred from video poker? I mean, you heard that story. Yeah, yeah. Did he not, has he not played since? No, it goes small. He took a couple of spins. He took a couple of spins. Probably picked up that Josh just has a king he can call with. Gets paid off. <laughs> what are, uh, so I got to highlight something here for you, recreational players like me. What amazing uh, restraint! Not thinking about the ass whipping he just took. That big shipment of chips over to Josh. I'm going to get the value that I think I can get out of him. Yeah. I'm not going to try. To, you know, now try, he try to make it all back whole, right now. You know, <laughs> wad back. But putting him in my hand, establishing what he thought the value was that would get a call. Yeah. And then making that bet. It like zero memory. You get the memory of a huge trump. It's perfect. Yeah, that's one of the biggest skills I think that a uh, poker player can have really is not letting things carry over. Right. Trust in your game. Believe. You know, if you, if you know you're a profitable winning player, just keep playing your game. It'll come. Well, uh, yeah, I had a young man going uh, pretty steamy run the other night. He has, and, uh, uh, pots would be good as, like, a color He got up from the table. Somebody said, yeah, he always steams. I said, this is he ever. And he commented this time. And they said, oh, yeah, it would, it would, it, they would get, like, demonetized. That lack of discipline <laughs> <seemed> <laughs> robs him of the you're opportunity. He's oh. gone now. Robs him of the opportunity. TFT. Who knows that in 30 minutes after you just donked so off your chips because you're steaming like twice, three right. times your whole bank roll for the evening. Who knows the 30 minutes you go on the after you It's like a heater. Absolutely. You robbed yourself of a chance. You have to give auto yourself a chance yeah, to be auto successful. Auto this yeah. this <laughs> game, like <laughs> like most yeah, intellectual yeah. games, like like sports too, are never served well by Mm -hmm. You know, and, and not give a life, life don't get too high, don't get too low. Right, right. And, and a lot of times getting too high is as bad as getting too But, um, yeah, that getting on a, getting steamy in any sport is going to make the under so. Both players here with the same hand, middle pair with an ace 10. Nope. Two pair on the turn. I was gonna say I was about to say that uh, Grishin is gonna win this hand, but not anymore. Yeah, we'll see how big Josh decides to make this pot. He's just gonna call. Probably thinking like, oh wow, ooh, counterfeits the tens. Now, now it's, yeah, so now Grishin might win the hand. Check it, maybe. Oh, no, they're both happy. <laughs> 
Josh laughing. He, he's probably sitting there thinking, I, I sit down, I flop a boat, I double up, and here I am turning two pair. <laughs> it's all coming my way. Yeah. <laughs> he does get half, but. Yeah. It depends how much you bet. You know, if you bet like 600, I might. Uh, it would have been, had I bet it, getting close. Well, Jesse yeah, in the box, doing the great work that he always does. Carlos going to add on yeah. as we do hand 85. Typically, Hunter does nice it live stream. While Jesse gets the money counted and the chips allocated, just remind you of the quads of the day. It's $200 daily progressive jackpot. So if you have quads in your hand in a bomb pot, uh, if it's the quads of the day, so there's a card selected each day. So it does deuce, you know, deuces, trays, fours, et cetera, and so on. Um, or if you have a pocket pair in your hand and you make quads with that hand in a no limit uh, uh, hand, you win the pot or progressive jackpot. Right, if you like oh, think yeah. long enough, like, of the day. Maybe, maybe. I was the beneficiary of that sometime back with Kings. Yeah. Never won the quads of the day. It is difficult to win. You have to make the specific quads, but it is amazing how often it is won, though. I've seen it won multiple times at my table and certainly been in the room when somebody wins. And that, So this is more my style of luck. It'll be quad, du you know, quad deuces or quad threes. I'll get those six times. <laughs> but which never make a set. You, never you got to get to the turn. Yeah. So I'd like I'm donking money off to an ace king queen board. Yeah. You know, with pocket deuces because I got to get to the turn. Yeah, it's no, that's that's my my. my and, and, <laughs> and when they're pocket aces, I don't get them. Like you know, hold that. Yeah, I saw an incredible pot where a guy made the quad aces of the day at my table and won, you know, an enormous pot in the meantime. It's like the double whammy of, yeah, I think the uh, the jackpot was somewhere between the two and 3,000 range at the time. So he was a, a very happy player. Yeah, I think I told you about a hand that I had where I, aces uh, plus one. Uh, the cutoff has kings, and big blind has jack to the diamonds. I had a guy tell um, me. I raise. Dallas. Cut off. That. Uh, he said that the rake is uncapped. Yeah, yeah, he jams. He was a little short jack, and he jams. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. big blind tanks for a little bit. He, yeah, he said like you can play it because like. Makes the call. You grind out, you I jam four, over the top. Big blind really upset. He calls. Board comes out. A seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two diamonds. Two diamonds. Diamond hits on the turn. I'm like, I won't tell you what I said, but it was long, colorful. Oh wow. So see, the first thing I do is look up at the board. Like I just, what, was I it? just scooped, you know, this huge, huge pot. Fairly good pot. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm greedy enough that I'm looking. Oh no. What, was that? <laughs> well, see, that that would be the whole, you know, the the hold, uh, the hold story. Yeah. You know. The yeah. Showing what a dumb butt I am. I should have thought of that once I turned the set. Oh, yeah. We got to make sure we get to the right pot size. Of course, it didn't matter. This was all. Speaking of sets, we have one for Bertram. Top set. Oh, yeah, we haven't seen a lot of sets tonight. We've seen a lot of trips. It is a gutter for just James, but Carlos with <laughs> just two overs, yeah. French bucks. <laughs> Could you imagine? And the other one, the dollar's pretty the same. Yeah, it is pretty cool. So. Yeah, I think the Euro is like a little Just James has been semi-bluffing with a lot of draws today. He's going to do it here, but unfortunately Bertram has top set. Yeah, the rainbow board, he's not worried about it much. Yeah, this is as safe of a flop for top set as you can have. Every country. <laughs> I mean, that, that, the draw is there. Not the best turn. But does not improve just James. I can imagine he's uh, 
I mean, it's hard to imagine Just James having five four. It does give Just James a few more outs. He can hit a seven or a three now. Based on the way Bertram's played so far, I can see him just jamming here. Yeah, but, it, but again, it, you got to ask yourself, uh, do I believe that there's any range of hands that he's made the straight at this point? Yeah. He, Where he flops open it with 7-8. You know, that does make sense. Yeah. Obviously, the I've been there a couple times. It's hard to imagine 7-10. It's hard to imagine 7-5. You know, no disrespect to Ken. Yeah. So, yeah, a smooth call here is definitely the right yeah. play, but it, I like he had made some big moves. That card doesn't scare him at all. Jack, Ten Jack, 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 Jack should not have shown up, so just James wisely gives up. Now he's thinking, well, what could I get value out of it? The answer is nothing. But no matter what he bets, James is going to fall. Quick pull. Yeah, nice pot for Bertram. It's played solid. really solidly. Yeah, exactly. Never going to be very high on the V-tip skill. At least I haven't seen. How convenient again, right? On to a bomb pot. Actually played with. Bertram recently as well. It, it, he was next to me, and it took me a while to recognize him, and it shouldn't have. But it's just I'm so used to the view from in here <laughs> that I'm not, <laughs> you know, with the two dimensional with the players that I haven't well. already played with. Yeah, that's how that, I felt when you walked in without the beard. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Who how is I, that guy. Why that's how I Kyle's feel. Voice? That's how I feel when I look in the mirror. I'm, oh, that's not what I expected to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's. Good. You can just imagine getting up early in the morning and walking and going, what the? That's exactly what it is, yeah. <laughs> right. Who's this guy brushing his teeth? He has no beard. Get the hands loaded here. Looks like it checked around on the flop. Does anybody have 7-10 for a straight on the bottom? No, I didn't see 7-10. A couple of clubs, Queen Jack B in the high clubs. Josh has got that. Kevin's got clubs as well. He also has top two on the big board, on the top board. The bottom board is all over the road. Oh, Daniel has the nut flush on the top. So he is bet out with the ace yep. queen of spades and Unfortunately for him, the board pairs, but I believe his nut flush is still good. Josh and it is. is. Nothing on the bottom but an eight. But it's going to be good. All Daniel has on the bottom is a three. Let's see if this pushes Josh out of the head. Yeah. Did he call? Yep. Yep. Give it the old disrespectful flip to the face of the queen. And, oh, oh, he does call. The, the, these guys are just not predictable. They do things that are just classic. I'm just about to fold this hand. I, I couldn't agree more. The fingertip I, card the, hover. The, the, the flick in your card. The, the card flick is, I mean, what, 98% of Chase the time of fold? flipping his cards over to yep. show the crowd. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, see what I'm folding. And then he flicks the chip in. I don't know. Yep. I think that I think that they got together beforehand and said, "Look, Kyle and Tom, we're going to yeah. screw with them all night long. We're, we're going to reverse. You normally, do before you <laughs> fold, do that yep. call." So Mosquito actually leading the way, even though he's been playing with us for the shortest amount of time. Yeah, won that ten hands, huge pot to start. Hands. Up about two k. Just James, real solid Carlos night. He's had a rough night. He's had to dip into the into the fanny pack a couple of times. Kevin here with Ace King. 
been quiet lately. Girls kind of come in. Dominated. It doesn't know I see him come over the top. 35. Be interesting to see what Kevin does with Ace King out of position. I think. You mean like four bet? Yeah, he's. I've got all the money in my pocket on it. Wait a minute. I don't have a lot of money. Well, I, I would not be betting against you that the four bet is coming yeah, in. The, the four bet is coming. He's he's deciding how big right now. Here it comes. Two fifty. Carlos is. Uh, I had a bit of a night like I had a couple weeks ago where I zagged every time it was time to zig. He, it, fo folks can't see that I'm shaking my head, but I'm agreeing with Uncle T. It's, it it seems like see every it. time that Carlos has three bet, he's got somebody waking up with a hand, and yeah, when his dominated. three bet yeah. made complete sense. Um, uh, yeah, that's Kevin's block. They both know that is nobody's fault. Really like Only backdoor clubs here for Carlos. Yeah, like Obviously a queen. They're like, they're like half size skittles. Really yeah. Yeah. This is about know. estimating what you, you oh, believe okay. you're going to represent it's, it's and what the other guy has. Not about the board. Wow, Carlos I'm, makes I'm, a pretty I'm, quick I'm call. No help on the turn. No five in the air. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, it makes a difference. Kevin could easily put Carlos on a middling pair, like eights, nines, tens, something that would not have come back over the top of his four bet. And he is going to slow down. Yeah, they get, the, both of them are evaluating the chance that the other has a, a decent pair. And certainly, both of them. Have that in him. Kevin yeah, came over the top of him. He could be playing jacks, tens, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's really going to be tough for Kevin to continue here. Yeah. He's facing a $300 yeah. bet. Like, that, I like a, it's a value bet. That's the scariest bet he could make. It's a value bet. It's, bet by Carlos. it's also become more and more common for players to play ace five suited, which of course would make a straight now. Should be worried about that. I mean, yeah, ace five suited is, yeah, I mean, it could be there, but <laughs> in my mind, yeah, Kevin's laying down because he thinks he has jacks, tens, or queens. Nice hand, Carlos. As nutty as, as some of the hands have been for the chase was here. What are you doing? Just hold it in your mouth. It's just dust. It just grinds it. Yeah, it's it's just two good players playing playing poker. Hot cereal. Nobody ever played. Yeah. Hot cereal. That's how you play most of poker, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you know, I think what the hand came down to is who had to check first. Well, that's going to be Kevin. Yeah. So, um, that's it, it, and Kevin knows that, I guarantee you, that if I check here, I'm probably going to get better. I, th I think also how quickly Carlos called um, his, his yeah. bet yeah. looked like. It looked strong. Like it I looked, liked his it board. looked strong, yeah. like it was a very comfortable call. I'm sure that Kevin, among many other things, took that into consideration. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, very true. Carlos with a real hand here, tens. <laughs> Yes, does not get clubs with his king six of clubs. Jack high board, rainbow. Bird reaches into the nest for 75. Still is only thinking about Fademan. Fademan Jack. Once again, though, yes. Actually, he's going to check back. Yeah, 
I think Yes is going to take a shot at this and try to win here, but I bet he gets eight. snap called. I can't see Carlos laying down tens as this is played out. Three hundred dollars. Pot size bet. Pretty good. Pretty good bet. I mean, that's the price, that's value. Can you just say value, you know, that's the price? Because you just, that's all encompassing. I think I Carlos mean, is going to piece this together and make a call. Well, it's definitely the most animated Carlos has been yes. all night. I think it's because he knows he's, he's you know, he's, I mean, I he's only going to call or fold, so he doesn't have to. Ooh, he did the folding the shuffle. Yeah, yeah, he did. That, that one you saw, <laughs> that one actually <laughs> held true. He didn't get the memo no, on trying to fool us, obviously. No, nice play by Yes. Yeah. The yeah. float yeah, yeah. takes it away on the river. Oh, I mean, uh, well, like, clearly this, is, this has been your path. Right? It's been on and off. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was your motivation before? <laughs> All right, folks. Hand number 90. Jesse the Fox. PCH Austin. Live stream. Thanks for joining us tonight. It's been fun. I don't. I mean, we spent a lot of money on it. Shout out to the Iowa girls. All right, Queen 10 raises 30 for yes. Tell me calls with two minutes. Josh calls. Like one dollar in my wallet, and if I got through the week, I was getting that double block. Check there. I'd be sent to pack. I was proud of myself. That was like my goal. Nine hits. Tillman's a hit. He's going to be, what is that, 50, 75? I'm telling you, you should see my car. Rob, 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 I have an, I have an person, I, I, I went to Dallas, I drove up. Well, then, uh, you get yeah, the next one. So, okay. Yeah, I better make a call here. Got the Subaru out. That's a nice car. It's actually pretty nice. Well, folks, we, we told you about the Monday night tournament, Wednesday night. We also have the $60 buy-in, 2000 guaranteed, 20K starting stack. Basically a turbo, 15 minute levels. Please join us, 7 p.m. We'll be here. I always play that tournament. Like that, love that tournament. Gets me in bed early. Can't help that And I have to get up and work in the morning. Unlike Melanie. Melania. I sleep till 4 a.m. I've done the math on it. We also have a PLO tournament on like Friday night. Just went back to the old format, which was add-ons and essentially a free roll. We always get a good group in for that. If you want to learn about bomb path, pots, be better at them, come play the PLO tournament. You get a lot of PLO hands in, practice for your bomb pots. And you know in Austin, we don't play if we don't play bomb pots. I think it's the best practice you can have. Mosquito Josh. You know, it's like people think like the top and the heart we draw. It's a big mold. I've been like broke as fuck, and then like I've had some money. Apathetic mind. It's like you're always going to live like at or beyond your means. Kevin's so Pretty much all of them. 95% of people like spend within 10%. Kevin's sporting the mask from back when that. They won't make it out with. What was the virus? What was it called? Yeah, what was it called? C COVID? COVID? Yeah, I forgot what that thing was called. Actually, Kevin's wearing the same mask that he was wearing in 2000. But usually those come with like. I recognize it. Not really anymore. It's usually like three thousand dollars you have to have in it. But you Underneath can that, out. sometimes there's that like six, a lot of six limit like that six man transactions mask. per month without a fee. He's a good looking. You know, a lot of those. A lot of those they um 
They're like promotional. People don't know that. They're like, I mean, I've had it for a couple of years now. It's usually not that high. It's only high that high because the interest rates are so high right now. But uh, so usually they're not that high. Well, it's gotten a little quieter since now. Chase left. You notice the energy is just but, and I mean, also a little too, lower. Five like percent isn't um, really doing. A lot. It's doing better than regular. Nothing against Josh, but he's a whole atmosphere of himself. He's like a whole planet. The gas giant. But with those, I found out that like their promotion rates. So like, usually you don't get five percent for like. Ever. I'm getting four point seven like, and four point five, and I have been for years, like over two years. Now. Really, and you yeah. get that rate still? Yeah, that's really good. Usually you have like no, to another account. Kyle is know, showing like, me yeah. thunderstorms yeah. moving into the Austin area. You know, this is a full yeah. service live stream. We try to keep you abreast of current Unless events like money um, and the like, weather. Kyle, tell us about the weather tonight. What, what can we expect overnight? What we can expect is, um, well, a little background. I chase tornadoes as a hobby, which I don't believe I've ever told you. On foot? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, across, the, across the Midwest U.S. And, uh, yeah, looking at the radar, we might get a little hail or some high winds here uh, very shortly. All right, uh, so uh, we'll I'll see. be right back. I uh, may or may not have left the Porsche's uh, little... I thought you drove a Ferrari, not a Porsche. I would drive an Italian. Oh, okay. I'm sure you're, like, Not only are yeah, Porsches <laughs> fast, yeah, yeah. No, they're yeah, reliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, actually, not uh, not worn yet, so maybe we'll luck out. No, I, I'm seriously though. I'm gonna go, I've got the I've got the roof flap open. Oh, you definitely should close it. <laughs> okay. Uncle Uncle T's gonna Uncle T's gonna take a break to uh, save his uh, very nice vehicle. Um, uh, so M Mel is asking about the rain, and yes, uh, she asked if we're talking about tonight, and I mean in the next 25 minutes or so. In the northeast, in the northeast, they have. You know, I'd like to apologize for the language and background by our producer, Melody. If you're in the North Austin area um, and you have a really nice car, so Uncle T is going to situate his car. We'll be with y'all for another 15 minutes while um, it hails outside. Possibly. No, hopefully not. Kevin, why going to raise up one of my favorite hands, a pair of fours? And just take down the blinds and straddle. Mel telling us that there may be some challenges based on the electricity outside the building. Do have some lightning and thunder coming in, so we'll do our best while we're still here. We got the battle of aces here, so just James has ace king, Daniel with ace queen, and Bones with ace jack. He has three bet, and now it is on just James with the best ace. Four bet incoming. Three hundred from just James. Hey, how many tickets do you have for SCU two? 
And everyone quickly folds. Good on Bones for getting away from the ace queen so quickly. Would have had to play it out of position as well. Nice little pot there, pre flop for just James. Carlos is going to raise the ace queen suited. Mosquito coming along with his king nine. We have an action flop here, so we've got top two for Carlos and Mosquito. Just with the king of clubs, clearly hit backdoor clubs. No club on the turn for Josh, so he still just has king high. Carlos has this one locked up, actually turns a flush draw that he will not need. Unfortunately, Mosquito is nothing to really get value from for Carlos. Kiwi asks, what brand of cards do you use there? The uh, cards in the card room do not have a brand on them. The cards on the live stream are an RFID card, so that's what allows the table to read the cards that's sent back to the booth here. Um, I was told, I believe, each deck is about $200 or so. To allow the table to read. You're not exercising as much as you should be. When your body reacts to stress. Bones here with the tanks, a pair of tens. One a small pot there, and we'll move on to the next. Bertram, a very pretty ace clean suited. Daniel with the same hand of the offsuit variety. He will three bet to 90. We can just jump the lot, then we can run it out. That's fair, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just put it all in. He'll gamble for all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? I think I know what you have. Bertram says, he, I think I know what you have. <laughs> I think you have. Just. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're Jack Jack. Let's it go. Power of position for Daniel there. Has the slightly worse ace queen. Takes it down. We'll be with you for about another 10 minutes or so. We're on hand 100. Thanks again, everyone, for joining us. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hop in the chat. Uncle T and I will do our best to answer your questions or comments. In the meantime, just want to remind everybody of Ladies Night. That is every Friday, 50% off all day for ladies. Um, each hour that you play. 
to come on out for ladies' night. Jeff, can you keep Googling? What do I do if my dick won't get hard? That's why. Is that why? You're going to start getting blue door. Every every single ad I see is like... Kevin Y going to raise it up, three betting with his pocket sevens. Just James has 10 jacks suited, a pretty hand to play. He's from the cutoff, so he does have position on Kevin. No, they're 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 just ads on TV. Does out flopping with Jack High Board, Jack Nine Boots, Rainbow. What's their name with the demographic? Apparently. See what Kevin decides to do here. Remember all those lovely late night ads for personal lubrication. I believe in seed retention. Yeah. As Uncle T rejoins us after closing up his. Vehicle. Your, your timing was impeccable. It just started raining when I ran out of the car and I was parked way out. Thank you for that. You're welcome. I did it just for you. Save saved the leather. <laughs> your car has leather? I figured that car had, you know, cloth. Or cloth? Yeah. Not so much. <laughs> Not an option on my car. <laughs> I, don't know. I think if you went into that dealership and asked for cloth from that car, they'd probably. Uh, they'd, they'd tell you to leave. They'd say, you can't they, afford they, to get yeah, out of my shop. Uh, you don't belong here. So you don't belong here. He lives in Austin. Is it Starbucks's old podcast? Okay. His old it's podcast. not the one he's doing now. Not the one he's doing now. He okay. left Come Down. Okay. Now Come Down became the Adam Friedland show. That's uh, another podcast. Okay, no, I haven't. You haven't seen it? Uh, I gotta check it out. Yeah, I mean, Hand it's, 100. It is like. We good made job, it to the Kristen. 100. Good job, Jesse. I've seen a lot of the Star Bros. Yeah, he puts them on YouTube. Like, he's funny. Dude. He does a lot of crowd work. Kevin's going like to keep sick. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. telling the like story with his pair of like sevens here. Just James. And now like Rivers, shit. top like two, like oh, no, does bring in backdoor spades. Pretty big pot throwing here. 625 in the middle. So Kevin has his He gives up. You would do. You obviously know about Kiwi Kiwi says those, yeah. Yeah, pretty much what you thought, $200 a pack. It's got a little stale. I mean, I think for a long time, they only had the same. Yeah, well, you won't find any of those expensive decks at my house. Mine are older than Mostly bought in the Mirage or Bellagio. That's a resale shop. I have one like deck of cards at my house, okay, and they are like uh, gold-plated well, the that I bought in so Dubai, many, like, yeah. that are dying to be just to have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> back up the truck just a couple yeah. inches here. Yeah. So first you of all, what were you on. doing yeah, in yeah, Dubai? I was on my way home from a work trip. So I... you just happened to stop in Dubai? What was the trip? New Jersey? <laughs> India. India. For work. Yeah, yeah. so I uh, yeah. made a long layover in Dubai and bought some gold plated cards. And they were not as expensive. That's why you went to Dubai, stopped in Dubai to get gold plated cards. Well, you know, I did a few other things. I played the Emirates course, the yeah. golf course, where oh, the PGA yeah. Tour plays. Nice. Went to the top of the Burj Khalifa. That was cool. Yeah, that, that's, that gets the vote of. After the apocalypse, the course that goes back to the, to the nature quickest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. You won't see a lot of cattle grazing on that course. He's after the apocalypse. Wow. I got a pair of jacks here for Daniel. So do you play those with those cards? I have uh, looked at them, but I do not play with them. And you don't let anybody yeah. touch them, keep the kids away? Right, yeah, yeah. they are... You know, who, you know who was crazy? Keepsake was makes me sound like I'm 95 years old. I, but I, I started to say, so you keep that, you know, <laughs> with your, with your you know, Fabergé <laughs> collection or something. Or, right, right you know, in, in my China cabinet. In your China cabinet. <laughs> in your hope chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Kyle's got a hope chest, really really chest really like ladies. Insane. What a catch. <laughs> he's been, what he's been a like catch. an Austin State for a while. All the girls yeah, that I've been yeah, trying to set yeah. you up yeah. with just knocked you off. They together. swiped yeah. right. I'm first time I mean, quickly <laughs> eliminated. <laughs> It's like straight print all the time. You know, everybody else is really like acting, you know, with like a script that they wrote themselves. Pretty much. He's just fucking winging it, dude. Yeah, you see him like most of the same stuff. But he does a good job of it. He brings the energy. So Daniel's going to bet out with his pair of jacks. Kevin Y once again has an under pair to top pair here. Yeah. But he is 
undeterred. He's going to come along. Five on the turn changes nothing. It just pairs the board. I can't even stress it enough. I'll check it out. Should I check out the old ones or should I check out the new ones? There's no, it's, it's Once again, Daniel's thinking about only fate and the key. No, We've had a lot of these hands okay. tonight where there's, there's been one over to the board. Yeah. Yeah. These players have been smart yeah. enough to uh, yeah. navigate that pretty well. Kind of checks back. Yeah, you just have to dig it. You have to dig it up on YouTube. Jacks feel pretty good here. Clubs didn't arrive. Not a lot of fives to play. Kevin's probably got the same thought process. This is like the yeah, I could see. I, I was going to say block or bet or check call. All, all um, of the, uh, all of the showdown values. Big pot. Nice win there for Daniel. And he's happy to have it. He's got the relief in his face. All they did was like ask for him some blue shoes. All right, folks, we're winding down. Just a well, couple hands like left. I'd like to thank like everybody. Like, Kyle, as always. I found out a lot about you tonight. You your trip like to Dubai. Old, like, your hope chest. Unfortunately, I feel like the hope chest is going to be the the biggest takeaway, although not true. <laughs> yeah, we believe you. Um, good game tonight. A lot of action. Fun to call. Some crazy calls. Some, I'm really crazy calls. Some great bets. <laughs> yeah, this has been one of the most entertaining yeah. streams I believe we've ever done. Uncle T, yeah. this has been great. I'd go back to that group that came over from California and, and down from Dallas and entertained us immensely back in December. Got some real hands here brewing. Carlos with the jacks and, and the button. Sixes, eights, jacks. Tail folds the sixes. Played pretty tight tonight. Did well though. Yeah, three bets at 225. It's really tempting to set mine, but you're not, it's tough to call 225 hoping for two cards. Kevin's just a man for the job. And jacks get rich. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes when you hit the flop so hard, <laughs> you, uh, your, your opponents just have an air ball. In, in this case, it's not too bad. I mean, there's no backdoor spades for Josh, but there's a backdoor spade draw. He's got an over to the board. Nice check by Carlos. Yeah, Try to let somebody nice. catch up a little oh, bit. Yeah, now the sixes feel happy. Happier. Yeah, no, no, I'm sorry, eight. Six feels good. Yeah, yeah, actually so good. yeah open ender for Josh. And as the rain comes oh, down. Oh, wow. Mosquito makes a big bet here. And unfortunately, his timing's not great. Although, I mean, you know, there's some 6 7 ace deuce suited hands that you could be nervous about. Kevin's yeah, going to take a little time and then fold this uh, you know, I think this is a prediction we can get right. I'm gonna see, I agree with you. Kevin, <laughs> Kevin's going to oh, make wow. the call. <laughs> we little, can't get it right. You know, it, I, 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 I'm sitting I here just, thinking that he's going to fold because he's stuck between these two. Exactly. Yeah, he's he's got Carlos behind. And uh, if you're seeing some glitches on the YouTube stream, it is because of the thunderstorm outside. So yep. we, get a little we apologize for that. But. It's raining pretty hard with the inside, even with the heads up. And Carlos is going to stuff it all in, and he is in great shape to win a huge pot here. Mosquito, I just. He's made some really good moves tonight. I mean, I'd be a little bit afraid of Ace 2 suited just because, you know, the gutter was there from the beginning. Um, but, you know, especially Ace 2 of Diamonds is never going anywhere and it gets there on the turn. Uh, I don't know. That game. Can't imagine too many like, six, seven hands. Doing, yeah, Car like, Carlos is, I, I would say, arguably played some of the best Josh poker. Josh is not going to get his money away here. Especially with Kevin behind him. Like, yeah, it's too much money. It's too Kevin, much. Kevin will end up holding as yeah. well. 
gives the look away, which is, is there anything in the room that's more interesting than what I have to do right now? Wow, Kevin's actually thinking about it. He, he did see Carlos bluff all in with the spade draw, so might try to talk himself into that, but I can't see Kevin calling yeah, here. Yeah, this is for his stack, I can't imagine. However, he is getting huge odds. Let's it go. Good ball. Good nice ball. hand for Carlos. Yep. As we as we glitch out a little bit due to the thunderstorm outside. So far, only rain doesn't sound like hail yet. So I think hopefully our cars are good. I don't think about that. I, I just got my deer damage fixed. <laughs> you hit a deer? Yes, I I hit fifteen thousand dollar deer. Whew. I've done that. Well, it wasn't a fifteen thousand dollar deer because I. Drove a 1995 Ford F-150 when I was in high school, but typically wouldn't even make a dip in a car like that. Well, I, it, it wouldn't after that, because then I put a guard on the front. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what my son has in the yeah. front. I think he could, honestly, his old truck, he could have hit a, a Abrams tank and probably a better thing. So we're on to the final hand, everyone. Thanks again for joining us. This will be a bomb pot as we always close out the stream. Last hand of the night. Last call for alcohol. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks. It's been fun. Next Monday night, another 2-5. We'll be back with you. Yeah. Once again, shout out, shout out to our buddy Dante. We're thinking about you, brother. Fun to be in the booth with Dante. Always. Hasn't been able to be as much Always. lately, but. And the New York Knit, wherever the hell he is in the world. Where, yeah, he's, yeah, playing a tournament somewhere in the yeah. world. In all, in all likelihood. Somewhere in the world right now, Lottie is making a call. Makes the call. He makes the call. Well, luckily, the uh, the hand graphics are not flickering. Everything else is flickering. I'm flickering a little bit. Worried about hell on my, on my GTS. Yeah, I think, I think we should be good looking at the radar here. That should be the worst of it, but was, that, that only assuages my with, concern a little bit. With with, uh, with headphones on, you can hear how hard it yeah, is raining outside. That's, that's, that's so a lot for, more for those listening than your little telephone radar there. Which, yeah. yeah. Of course, we love rain in Austin. Yeah, okay. That, yeah, all that good. dark red still makes me nervous. Looks like we're checking to the river here. Mosquito has the best hand on one board and Bones on the other. Bones will go ahead and bet it. Yeah, hot size bet. I think, I think they have rush, like 200 rush is the biggest like, fastball game that they offer. One of my most irritating things about poker players is when they know exactly what the pot should be because I don't spend five seconds of my <laughs> life trying to figure out what the pot is. I just look at Jesse and go, pot? Yep. And he tells me. Well, that's amazing. They'll, they'll quickly say 317 or whatever the Yeah, is. yeah that's his job. He's getting paid for it. So we're going to have a chop pot on the final hand between Bones and Mosquito Josh. Yeah. Carlos is going to. Well, we'll close the night out here. We'll remind you of the Poker Atlas tour here in a moment. But uh, Uncle T, always great to be with you. It's yeah, been a really fun, fun uh, stream tonight. Please be safe if you're, uh, hopefully you're not watching the stream out on the road. But yeah, be, be safe out in North Austin in the rain. And if you're in uh, South East Austin, it's coming to you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this has been Texas Card House live from Austin. I've been Kyle Frisbee. You've been Kyle along Frisbee? With <laughs> well, well, most of my life. I've Try been to maintain Kyle your Kyle Frisbee. I, I've been Kyle Wemo Frisbee. I've been with Uncle T here. It's been great having you in the chat and with us all night. Um, check out the Poker Atlas tour uh, here in a moment. Thanks, everybody.
tournament poker players. Over $1 million in guarantees from April 10th through April 22nd during the Poker Atlas Tour at Texas Card House Houston. 16 different poker tournaments, including the $50,000 guaranteed kickoff event, the $250,000 guaranteed mystery bounty, and the half a million dollar guaranteed main event. For all buy-ins, structures, and information, download the Poker Atlas app and visit texascardhouse.com today.